Hallo! Hallo! Happy New Year, everybody! First stream of 2024! How are you guys doing? Mm -mm. Hello, everybody! Hello, Sev! Hello, Mew! Hello, Dream Castro! Hello! Wee! Hello, Mr. Mr. Hello, Kayla! Hello, Nameless! Hello, Cadley! Hello, Noel! Hello, your waifu! Hello, Don Lot! Sorry, I'm gonna take my meth. Oh! It's the spot. Did you guys know? I'm a little bit... Sorry, I got a bit of a cold. Did you know that in the olden days, I think back in the 80s, these things had a little bit of, um, like, meth in them. Literally, meth. Um, like, it was, it was so small that it wasn't... Like, like, you would have to, like, snort, like, 50 of these to actually feel anything. But it made them a little bit addictive, which is kind of funny. Just a little bit of trivia for you guys there. Yeah, no, not blue meth, but a little bit of meth. Like, t just a tiny fragment of meth in them. Some of, some of the types had that. It was, you know, kind of like how Coca-Cola used to have a cocaine in it. It was some old... Some old, like, medicine would sometimes have, like, traces of illegal... Like, now illegal substance in them, which is kind of funny. <coughs> anyway, <coughs> it is cold. It is very cold in Norway right now. It is, it is extremely cold in Norway right now. You know how cold it is? Let me, let me, let me convert it for you Americans. At the moment in Norway right now, it is minus 25 degrees Celsius, minus 13 degrees Fahrenheit. Minus 25 Celsius, minus 13 Fahrenheit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cold. And I'm going up to the cabin with Ponsegraf in two weeks. I'm hoping it is warmed up by then. Because it's not going to be fun. <laughs> His cabin has no electricity! I would like to point this out. No electricity, and we shit outside! Normally, this is kind of... You know, normally I don't mind this so much. Uh, but, uh... But, um... If, if the temperature stays or grows colder... That's going to be tough. That's going to be very, very tough. Why is it so cold? Ah, some wind blowing in from Siberia, I think. That usually tends to be the case. Yeah, minus 10 in Ohio. Yeah, sounds pretty cold. Mm -mm. Oh, why do we shit outside the house? Because it's an old cabin and doesn't have a... There's not plumbing. So we... we, we it's you, you got those old... Does anyone... Like, I, I know I have some young people in my audience, but you know what an outhouse is? Right? That's where you go and, and, and take a shit if you don't have a toilet. Yeah, that's, um... That's not fun. <laughs> I, I once sat outside in uh, minus 20 degrees Celsius, which is not as cold as this. It's like minus 7 Fahrenheit, I think. And I was questioning my life choices. Let's just, let's just say, I was questioning my life choices. When it's, when it's minus 20 or lower, it gets to the point where you have to gauge how long you have to sit on the bathroom versus how long you can sit on the bathroom, you know? Like, you're sitting there and you're weighing the pros and cons, like, can I afford to sit here 10 more minutes? Or do I just have to finish up and get inside, you know? You, you are like, you're fighting a battle with wrong layout? I have a wrong layout. What, really? There we go. That's better. Uh, thank you. <laughs> so, um, I thought it looked a little weird. Yeah, I thought I was like that. That looks like Path of Radiance layout. There we go. Is it true that this game is tiringly long? It is a very long game. I don't know if it's tiringly long, but it is a long game for sure. Any MVP so far? Yeah, I'm gonna show you my units. So we got Micaiah. Uh, I've decided to give her the robe because I believe that this is for the bests. I just believe this is for the bests. Just like 24 HP after a robe. That's that's Micaiah for you. Uh, I got the most busted Soth in existence because I transferred him. Look at that. He's capped strength at level three. 
Uh, I got a godly Edward. Look at that. 14 strength, 15 speed. He's insane. I got... Well, I'm not really using Leonardo. Nolan is really good as well. 16 strength, 16 speed. I'm gonna have insanely good Nolans and Edwards. Uh, Laura is okay. I'm not really using Ileana. I'm not really using Aaron. I am training Meg, however. I am training Meg. We've given her, uh, I think, four levels so far. She's still bad, but we're working on her. And we have Volug as well. Um, I did talk about him last time, but I'll, I'll just briefly go over him again. Volug is kind of like the second Jagan you get after Soth. Uh, losing him is a game over, though, so you do have to be careful with him. And he's weak to fire, since he is a wolf, so... There are some fire mages that can deal like 16 to 17 damage to him. He has 50 HP, so he can take a lot of abuse, but if you have like four fire mages gang up on him, you can actually lose him, so you need to be a little cautious about that, especially since losing him is a game over. Um, but I like Volug. He hits hard. Uh, he does tend to drop off a little bit, as with all the other characters, though. Now, have we forged yet? I don't remember. I don't think we have. Okay, so we need to think about the forge. Did you hear about FE5's Forseti cut? What? FE5 for what what? FE5 Forseti cut. What's that? FE5 Forseti cut is out. Is this some kind of translation patch? Let me read. I found a Twitter post about it. Um I just start okay. What is the Forseti cut? Lots of new content, many gameplay changes. Oh, it's like a treasure rebalance. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. How long do you think it takes before Shadow Lord shows up? How long do you think it's before Shadow Lord shows up? Okay, so Brighton is now pre-promote. That's a good change. Fire, heal, and door keys can be bought from the preparation shop. That's good. Three additional units have been restored from the original game. Gunnar, Aspel's presumed grandfather, Daisy and Asaello. Oh, yeah, their portraits are in the game. They were actually supposed to. That's really cool. I'll bring this up on screen for you guys. Sorry, I, I know some of you may not be very interested in this, but this is actually something that I'd like to... Okay, let me... Let me let's go through it. I, I, I just... I think this is kind of cool. Let me just... Let me take a look. So, Brighton is now pre-promote. Fire heal door keys can be bought from preparations. Most unused bosses have been restored, with two new ones being added. A two tree range bow lock to bow lock unit has been created, called the re Recurve Bow. Oh! B route has gotten plenty of perks and bonuses to make it as favorable as the A route. Chapters 12 and 12x are no longer a staff-induced nightmare. If you play without warp skipping, the features of Modern Fire Emblem where unit has their whole inventory sent to the convoy upon- Ooh! Many units have had their portraits revamped. A cost decided double-edged sword pro uh, property removed. Oh, this looks good. This looks good. If I ever do another Tracia Iron Man, I could try this. I really like the- I, I really like the addition of, um... I really like the addition of adding Asaello, Daisy, and, um... And uh, this new this new guy Gunnar, because there are unused portraits in the Tracia files of these units, implying that they were probably meant to be added, but they just never did. That's cool. Oh, other important things. Okay, Shadow Lord. Okay, use this little monster's translation. That's fine. Okay, I, I like what I'm reading so far. No Shadow Lord yet, though. No Shadow Lord. Where sh when is Shadow Lord gonna show up and be the be the savior of Tracia? You know. Anyway, guys, sorry about that. We need to think about what forge we're gonna make. So, I'm thinking sword or axe for. I, I'm I'm thinking axe for Nolan, sword for Edward would probably be a good idea. We already have a sword for Meg, so I'm thinking. Uh, what do you guys think? Can we buy hand axes? No, we cannot, actually. Let's check out the sales, like, the, the, the special sale thing. Okay, so we can buy a wind edge. I think we will definitely do that for Edward. Uh, that, that, that's, like, a no-brainer. I know he has one already, but it's about... We got a longbow. I don't think there's any point in getting this. Uh, Spirit Dust for 8,000. I never really like this. Like, who's gonna benefit from it? Other than Ileana. It's a lot of money. 
So I don't think it's really... Is it worth forging a tome from a Kaya? Nah, I don't think so. Uh, I have no hand axe, yeah. The Elf Thunder is nice? Not really. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, I say we forge a... Can you forge a hand axe? No, only or not. I, I say let's, let's forge a... Let's forge an axe for Nolan, shall we? Bit of an accurate axe for Nolan. I think that that's fine. Wow. I think this works just fine. 13 might, 105 hit, 15 uh, crit hand axe sounds like a good idea. Oh, let's do a coin. All right, pick a card. Oh, what's this? Plus one speed? Oh, plus five crit. Wow, this is like a killer axe now. All right, you guys ready for the forge game? Da, 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 da. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Axe hole. Okay. Huh? No, no, no. Axe. Axe hole. Was it a... It was an exclamation mark there, too. Let's get that up there. Real quick. There we go. There you go, Nolan. Here's your axe hole. All right, so now Nolan has his axe. That should make him considerably better. I do want to give him a bronze axe, though. I always like having a, uh, I always like having a bronze axe available. Same thing. Like, it's nice in case you need to chip people down. Same thing with the bronze sword for Ed Eddie. I, I like, I like the ability to have to be able to do less damage. And I think. We we might need a bronze dagger for Soth. I think we are. Yeah, let's get a bronze knife for Soth just so we have it. What are the rules for Iron Man? So you're not allowed to load saves. If you get a game over, you have to start over from the start. Uh, any units that die are lost permanently. It's basically a uh, it's it's a playthrough where you have to. You have to stick with your guns, basically. All right, so this is a problematic chapter. Anyone who watched Donlot's stream will know why. Uh, there is a small chance, I don't know how big, I'm thinking it's probably one in 10, that Jill just dies on turn two. Uh, this is just how Radiant Dawn is. It depends on a number of RNG factors. She needs to pop a vulnerary, I think, to survive. She will normally do that if she doesn't, if she doesn't dodge. I think one of the reasons why she tends to die here, again, uh, on normal mode, on normal mode, she gets weapon triangle advantage against all these soldiers. So she gets that bonus to hit in the void. But on hard mode, they removed the weapon triangle and they didn't test hard mode. So Jill has a much higher chance to die on hard mode because she doesn't get the avoid bonus anymore. You see, they've mostly put lance users here. And yeah, we got some, we got some daddies and mommies here. Oh, look, look at that Jill strength transfer. 13 base strength, let's go. She dies because of bad biorhythm. I don't think biorhythm is uh, random. I think every character starts at the same point, don't they? Yeah, on hard mode in Radiant Dawn, there is no weapon triangle, no. It doesn't exist. Also, I gotta make sure my... Ba -da 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 -da. Nope, you cannot check ranges either. 
You guys really like to ask me about that, don't you? Alright. You let Seahark die. Seahark would, would, like, if I had kept him alive, I think my Seahark would have easily kept strength and speed. Maybe even defense. He would have been so good in this run. I'm so sad he died. Matt McCleskey, donated five bucks to Super Chat. Who is the hidden character? Who is the hidden character in the entire Fire Emblem series? Hidden character in the entire Fire Emblem series? Are you asking me who the most hidden character is? Like, who's the most difficult to get? Or who most people don't know? I mean, because of the internet, we know all of them. Shadow Lord, I guess? I don't know. Shannon, maybe? I, I don't understand the question, Matt. Are you asking me who's hardest to recruit or who's least known? You kill the left side mage with Volug turn one. This guy? Yes, so that is something you can do. Yeah, I think this is the guy that can kill Jill. Because he'll go like this and attack her. I think if we kill him with Volug, and I think Volug can reach him turn one, because Volug has what? He has like 10 move, right? One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So we want to make sure we kill this guy immediately. I always send Soul to the other side. Killing the mage significantly increases her chances of survival. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. I've also put a uh, pure water on South. Can be pretty nice to do that. I like to go and uh, steal the boss's light rune. I never use it. I just like having it in my inventory because it's pretty. Meg, 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 Meg. Yes, we are Megan. Oh my god, Leonardo, you're so bad. So I think, um... Here you got, like, you got three ledges right here, which you kind of want to try and cover up as much as possible. Um, I think what we'll do is... I, does Edward double? No, he does not. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to... Again, we got to be very careful here with Mikaya. I think we're going to start with a Thani. Maybe, I think a regular light... Ah, we'll do a Thani. Why not? This map is pretty good. I like it. It's just hard to iron, man. And then what we'll do is we'll send Edward over here. Again, you can you can tell he's not very dodgy, so I'm, I'm not a big fan of this. Don't forget to steal the Master Seal. I I'll do that. Wait, Master Seal? Let's see, um, Master Seal? Oh yeah, there's a Master Seal right here! I completely forgot about that, thanks for reminding me. So I like to put, I like to block off the ledges with Ileana. If she dies, it's not really a big deal anyway, but I think it would be kind of cool if I bring in... I should probably bring in Aaron, I think. Nine damage. I think if I attack with Ileana, then Alan can get the kill. Eleven damage plus... Nine damage. Professional, are you making fun of me, Hanako? Save Master Seal for Meg? Sure. I mean, I just prefer selling them most of the time. Wait, one short? Oh, no! Oh, for fuck's sake! Ah. Uh. Why is the game like this? These, these conversations are the absolute worst. These conversations are the absolute worst, but yeah. I'm gonna send Volugo up here, kill the mage. As you can see, he takes 18 damage from these mages. Pretty scary. And he gets hit. Volug does not get any experience. Oh. Matt McCleskey donated five bucks for Super Chat. Hardest hidden character to recruit. I, I would I would have to say uh, Savior in an in trace shot. He's not He's tedious to recruit, I think is the is the right way to say it. He's very tedious. 
Oh, Nolan, I love you. Let's go. I'm actually gonna bank on a crit here. I know this is a little silly, but I'm gonna try. So that means I don't take any damage back. There you go. <laughs> Crixus, yeah, and Andron Saga? Yeah, Crixus is probably the hit most hidden character. Okay, can Meg, will she die? 14 damage, ow. Um, 14 damage plus, how much does this guy hit for? 25, 26, she will actually die. If this guy go, goes like this. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna have to, I'm, Alan might be dead actually, unless I send Leonardo over here. I do need to be careful with Micaiah because she has 11 AS, 11, okay, this guy does 25 damage. Micaiah will survive, actually. She will take a single hit. I need to block the ledges, so I think I'm gonna do this. He has 11 ass, yeah. Not quite 12 ass. Now, I'm tempted to do this, but if I miss, I'm dead. And this guy does 14, the other guy will kill me, so... Not... Not ideal. Uh, I think Aaron might... Ah, oh, actually, this is bad. If Aaron dies, then this Myrmidon comes down, so... I think I actually have no choice but to do this. It, it can't... Wait, no, this guy... He can't reach. He can't reach, actually. There's sand in the way, so... Yeah, no, I think I will do this. Actually, this... This... Hmm. Okay, I think I might have to shove... Uh, I'm out of position with Aaron. I'm out of position with Aaron. Meg is not fine, because this guy will kill Aaron, then the Myrmidon will go like this. I don't really think I can do anything about it, so... Yeah, this kind of sucks. I, I don't know what to do here. I mean, I guess the Myrmidon has to die, right? The Myrmidon has to die. Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. Thank you. Alright, let's go. It's another mega level up. Let's go. Okay. Alright. Alright. Good level. Good level right here. Good level. Could have gotten some speed though. And we have to put Leonardo right here. One, two... Oh! Oh, this is sand. He might actually not be able to reach. Because these these are sand tiles, so... He has to go one, two, three, four, five... Yeah, this is actually perfect. Now, I'm, I still think that Iron is gonna die to the Steel X guy here, and then the Myrmidon's gonna run down and kill Eliana, but... Oh well, what can I do? This is why I pure water soap. Where she gets a good level. No, Meg is not gonna die, but Iron and Liliana might. I think Iron and Liliana are very dead right now. Very dead. But I don't care about Iron and Liliana. Yeah, this is the problem right here. Oh, I didn't even get. Oh, I forgot to enable animations for him. He just died. Oh well. Oh well, what can we do, ladies and gentlemen? Sorry, Aaron Bros. We have our first death, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> Why is my death counter not working? Oh, that's because I have them in storage. Never mind. There you go. It could be a little... There you go. Alright, let's see... Let's see if Ileana dies. She might get doubled by the Myrmidon. 
Okay, Valug, you can stop. You can stop taking damage now. Oh, I I don't remember. Does do items go to convoy when units die in uh, in uh, in Radiant Dawn? I don't remember. I don't think so. Master seal. I know I'm gonna steal the mask. No. Okay. So. Oh. Okay. All right. It goes for Meg. Meg can't be crit. Meg cannot be crit. She has fortune. All right, here we go. Yeah, this is... Okay, no, they are spreading out their attacks a little bit, but you can see if that mage was allowed to live, it could have been really bad for Jill. Now, here's the thing. Seahart cannot die either. Any of these Gwynianas dying is a game over. I don't remember when they heal. I think it's below half, so... I think I'm good? I think I'm past the... I think I'm past the turn where Jill dies. Meg will become stronger than Teronia. Yeah, if she keeps fighting, sure. I'm getting the Master Seal, guys. My goodness. Oh, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Uh, Matt McCluskey. Okay, that was the donation. Okay, good. I got them. Are you guys? Are you guys happy now? I got the Master Seal. Are we? Are you? Are you, are you satisfied? Alright, so I really do need to heal Volug. I'm thinking about sacrificing on him, but I need to make sure that I have everything in order first before I do that. So I think what we'll do is we will... Okay, Bronze Axe does not kill, which is nice. That means we can set up a kill for Meg. Question is, guys, who should we support Meg with? Seahark? Are we gonna, are we gonna marry Meg and Seahark? Manx, do you prefer Master Seals or Class Dependent pro Promo items? I, I mean, I like Master Seals, I think. There, there is actually an argument to be made in favor of both. Um, what I like about Class Specific, like, so, so what I like about the Class Specific Promo items is that it forces you to diversify your army. It forces you to use multiple classes. Because you're like, okay, well, I only get four Knight's Crests, so I can't use four camps and two armor knights. So it is it is a restrictive mechanic by design, which forces you to use multiple classes, which I do like. It's not necessarily good, but it can force you to, well, but of course the argument is then, should you not just use the characters that you like? And I can see that argument for sure. Of course, if you make it too, if you, if you use up restrictions too much, you end up with uh, three houses where everyone is a goddamn vibrant lord because it just is the best class so everyone reclasses into it that's not good you want a diverse cast but i think instead of just restricting classes i think it's more important that you make each class good at something so that the player will want to have multiple classes i think that's probably more important all right i'm gonna try this won't be a full heal but i don't want Volu running around on low health so Oh, 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 he just barely kills. Leo can't use a steel ball? Yeah, he sucks. Oh, 9 to 4 a.m. Donut at 828. Mengs! Meng, what can we do, ladies and gentlemen? Meanwhile, in everyone in chat, sh shove Leonardo to kill. Mengs, you need to learn and read chat in dire situations. <laughs> Look. Look, I never listen to chat, okay? This is not by accident, it's by design. Vyvern is boring, but it's very effective. Yeah, but when you can freely reclass everyone and Vyvern is the best class, why wouldn't you just have an army of Vyvern Lords, right? If you're playing to win, that is. Most people aren't playing Fire Emblem to win, though. They're playing Fire Emblem to have fun. Oh, I love Apletke. Okay, nice job, Sylv. Let's see if we can steal the boss's uh, light run, that'd be fun. Oh, Jill, you be careful now. You be careful now, Jill. Everyone knows that chat 
we have better opinions. Uh, some of you do, others don't. Some of you just give straight out terrible. What the fuck? Why didn't he attack her? What? Jill, can you heal yourself? Wait, what? What what happened there? Why didn't the soldier attack you? Do you guys see that? Do you guys see that? He just didn't attack. Wow, that's weird. That is weird. All right, so I think uh, the time has come for Nolan and Edward to head up on up up up, up that land. Uh, ooh, that is not fun. Um, oh, these soldiers are very nasty. I don't like them. But I also don't... I really don't want Jill to die, so I'm doing this. Strength trend for Jill is scary. Like, scary for her, you mean? Why is the game considered unfinished? I get FE9, but uh, FE10 feels pretty complete to me. I wouldn't say it is unfinished, it is rushed. Um, there are a bunch of things about FE10 that feels rushed, like hard mode. <laughs> hard mode, they just slap, um, they just slapped an XP, XP penalty on everyone and called it a day. And as a result, you get, I think that's a hand axe, yeah it is. As a result, you, you get a game that feels a little unbalanced, so to say. What FV game doesn't feel unfinished? This is a good point. Most FV games, sadly, are a little unfinished. Okay, uh, 10 damage, so 20 damage. So that means this guy deals 23. Uh, so 10, so we'll take 10 damage from that guy. 23, 23, okay. So, 30 damage total to Nolan right here, if he gets hit on all, which may not happen, so. Engage's story feels totally finished. I mean, they finished it, all right? I guess, yeah, they, they, finished, they finished the game, if that's your... All right, so... Do you guys remember what the movement cost over terrain is? Because I can... I think it's three, so... One, two... I think if we put Meg here... Is it two or three? I can, I can never remember. It's three, yeah. One, two, three. So they're able to... They're able to get here. So if we put Meg here, we should be okay. One, t one, two, three. So, if we put Meg right here, they shouldn't be able to reach her yet, I think. Oh, hi, boss. Oh, is Soth going to kill the boss? Uh, he is, isn't he? Oops. Um. Is that gonna end the map? I don't think so. I wanted to steal his shine barrier, though. Okay, no, he, he... Okay, okay, good. I don't know if Soth always one rounds him. I think there's a good chance that he... Uh, I think there's a chance that Soth does not kill him. But my strength... My transferred Soth definitely kills him. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh no, oh no, oh no, no, don't you fucking dare. No! I live. Please, no, please, no. I don't think the warrior can reach me. Okay, no, he, he just moved. Oh. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. Oh my goodness, that shared that scared the shit out of me. Oh my. Woo! I 
angelic robe saved my run. You see, this is why you do it, ladies and gentlemen. This is why you do it. Woo! Yeah, this is why you Seraph robe Micaiah. Exactly. Usually Mickey would be double too, yeah. Okay, uh, so I think we can we can literally just go and we have to be a little cautious here actually. Like Soth can actually get whittled down by these guys a tiny bit. Why can't he steal though? Is he? Oh, his item is ah. Oh. Well, I don't need this. Um, I don't need this bronze knife anymore. Might as well steal myself a little bit of vulnerary. I fucking hate the converse button so much. I wish it would die. Yeah, you can still use scrubs to block Letkiss. This is very true. This is very true. I don't mind weeding out the scrubs of the Dawn Brigade early on, though. I think it's completely fine to do that. Okay, let's heal up Mikaya. We're actually running low on men's days, so we gotta be a little bit careful. Oh, I should probably top Mikaya off. I can, like, ah. Uh, I'll shove and go sacrifice Nolan. I do have to be a little careful, though. No, there's no way that archer is reaching me. Any chance you get to sacrifice, you should take. All right, I just gotta check out the attack speed of the soldier. Now nah, we're good. We're good. Aaron is your only Dawn Brigade tank. That's not true, I have Soth. Soth is a tank. Volug is a tank. Aaron isn't even that tanky. Like, he's got a good defense growth, but it takes so long for him to get to a, to a point where he can use it. And I have Meg. Yeah, Meg is my tank. Is there any axe enemies that Meg can train on? They, well, they don't need to be axe enemies, because there's no weapon triangle, so... There's a coin and concoction hidden here. Uh, where? Can someone explain to me where it is? I mean, I could just look... Oh! I thought Meg took no damage. I was like, what? Don't you fucking dare, Jill! No! Jill. Fuck off, Jill. You drink that conco... Wait, what? Wait, wait. Wait, what? What? Where did they come from? Um. Alright. I forgot about those guys. Um. Okay. Okay. That was, uh... Not something I expected. Right. Enemies are- your reinforcement's a little bit sneaky in Arabian Dawn sometimes. When do you get your next healer again? I mean, I might- I could early promote Ileana, I don't know. Alright, so this is where we, uh... We have to bring Baloog back. I mean, I guess we could do this with Nolan. All right, I don't have a hand axe. No, I, do, I don't. I don't have a hand axe. I do not have a hand axe at all. That's not GG. You don't need Laura. She's nice to have, but she's not necessary. In, in my humble opinion, you don't need her. She's nice, but you don't need her. Yeah, I'm gonna have to heal with Micaiah. That's literally it. I'm gonna have to heal with Micaiah. Sage, Ileana, can't you stay? Yeah, I guess that's true. Problem is, right now, I don't have anyone to heal Meg, so that is actually a bit of a problem. It, it, what are you doing? Get, get out of there!
there, Jill! Oh my goodness, that, that gave me a heart attack. Oh my god. Oh, Jill, why are you like this? Oh my god. Hey, don't do that, Jill. He's scaring the shit out of me. Does <laughs> she do a little trolling? Yeah, she kind of does. She kind of does. And I'm just trying to sacrifice with Micaiah to get some experience. I know it's... You gotta be a little careful here, but... I believe I'll be okay. Oh, hi there. Forgot about you. 12 damage, okay. I got Nolan and Edward left, and I got plenty of vulnerabilities and concoctions. I will be fine until I get another healer. Why would you go for Nolan? Oh my god, he can crit me. Uh, yeah, I gave my Angelic Robe to Mikaya. I gave my Angelic Robe to Mikaya, and thank, thank goodness for that. That was necessary. Ah, here we go. Let's go Godward. Like, it does say 2% crit, don't you fucking dare. It says a little bit about, like, I'm, my Edward is insanely busted. And even Edward does not double. Okay, here we go. Oh, that was scary. That was scary. So I'm gonna have to do this uh, next chapter without a healer, I think. That was terrifying, but I got through it. This is one of the harder chapters in the early game, for sure. Three years passed. Dayin mustered all of its formidable military might and cut a bloody swath through neighboring Crimea in a sudden invasion. Dayin was defeated, however, and the dreams of its ruler, Mad King Ashnard, died with him. Sure did. After like six seasons. Alright, chapter one. It's time to raise the standard a little bit, guys. It's time to raise the standard a little bit. Free state of Murado, just like the Free People's Republic of North Korea. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. What do we get here? Thousand gold. Cool, thank you. And what is Kurth gonna give us? He gives us an item, right? I guess it's the renewal scroll. Okay, not really super useful. But yeah, we have some new units here. Let's start off by talking about this daddy right here, Toronio. Um, another unit given to you to ensure that you can get past Act 1. That's really what he is. He's there to ensure you can get past Act 1. Um, he kills absolutely everything. And uh, what I, I like to early promote him in the late game to a marshal. You can do that pretty easily, actually. Just give him a crown, and uh, and he runs around and kills things with Luna, which I which I really like actually. I I find that it makes him very decent. He does fall off in the late game like almost every other unit, but I, I like Toronio for what he contributes. He's a he's a win button basically. You you he, he ensures that you can get through chapters, but he of course he gets no experience. So there's a lot of units like this in Radiant Dawn. We should just call them something like we should just call them like like he's just a. Uh, <sighs> I feel like we should have a term for a unit like this, because Radiant Dawn has like, 10 of them. Units that gets one experience, but they kill everything. It's not a Jagan per se, I guess a little bit of a Jagan. Carrier, I like that. He's a carrier, yeah. I like that definition. A carrier. He's a carrier type unit in Radiant Dawn. He's, he's like Nyla, he's like Volug, he's like Soth. He just killed- like, Soth is more of a Jagan. The carriers literally get like one experience per kill. They- you cannot train them in the early game. Unless you give him a hundred kills. He shoots from 3 to 10 range? Yes. And then we have Jill. Uh, Donlot's favorite unit. Um, my Jill- let's see if I can bring it up here. She has strength transfer. Was the only cap she stat? She it was the only cap she statted. I almost said it was the only stat she camped in Path of Radiance. But it, it is still a very nice transfer for her to get. It's basically a free energy drop that I get for nothing. So she has 13 strength instead of 11. Ideally, you want to get a strength and speed cap uh, transfer, which makes her even better. 17 speed on Jill is insanely good. That means she actually doubles things. Uh, but I like it. I like it. I mean, I think she can use the steel axe without. 
No, she still gets a penalty, but she can use the Hand Axe without getting minus one speed, which is nice. Uh, Jill is very strong. I like supporting her up with horror and having them fly around and just kill things together. It's nice. It's nice. Jill is... I, I know Dawn Log talks a lot of shit about her, but I do think Jill is pretty decent. I, I think maybe she's a tad overrated in that I don't think she's, like, the best unit in the game. Uh, but I, I like Jill. She's, she's, she's viable. She's decent. Can you transfer HP? Yes, you can. You get, you get 5 HP if she camps HP. And there are a few units in, in Path of Radiance who does this pretty reliably without a rope. Sadly, I think I was 1 HP away on my Braum. Or 1 HP away on my Gatry from getting 5 HP. Which is, that, that does make a big difference. Yeah, Jill, Jill, Jill needs babying to get good, but it's, it's warding to train her, yeah? And flyers are on steroids in, in Radiant Dawn with Super Kanto, so... She is pretty damn good, and I, I don't think we should undersell how good she is. Sometimes I do think she gets oversold, though. Alright, so... Seahark, again, he could have been amazing. I could have had a Seahark with 19 strength, 25 speed, and 15 defense. I'd just like to point that out. He would have been, by far, the best unit in the Dawn Brigade. Uh, that didn't happen, because he died. But we can always remember what could have been. Uh, Seahark is... Basically, a unit that comes in and he's better than Edward no matter how hard you trained Edward. And that's that's pretty much it. It's kind of sad, really. That doesn't mean there's no merit in training Edward. It's just that Seahark is better no matter what you do. I do think that Edward has a chance of ending up better than Seahark, though, if you train Edward. Just because of his... But Seahark is still pretty damn good. I mean, his growth rates are fantastic. Um, So, I like I like Seahark. He's, he's good. Uh, Omega donated 21 bucks. Hey, Mangs, first time catching you on stream. I love your videos. Good work and keep it up, and good luck on the Iron Man. You'll need it. Thank you so much, Omega. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you. First time catching my stream. So, those are the three new units that we get, and we have to be a little bit careful now because we don't have a healer. That just means we have to make sure everyone has a vulnerary on them. I think I'm gonna give the the wind edge to Meg. Uh, we need to make sure that Micaiah has a vulnerary. Thirty-five strength growth is not that great. It's not a detriment, in my opinion. It, it, it's not great, but it's not like it's the end of the world, you know? Now, from here on out, I like to put the pure water on Volug, so he's so... Actually, I might just put it on Jill, so she can fight mages better. Use Master Seal on Ileana. Oh, I forgot about the coin. Uh, use Master Seal on Ileana. To turn her into a sage? Uh, I don't know about that. Maybe. Oh, yeah, I like to put Renewal on Micaiah because of Sacrifice. I think that's probably a good idea. It's not very, like, it's not very good, though, is it? It's 10% of total HP, so that what what's that? That's 2 HP per turn on Micaiah? That's pretty shit. I think it's probably better to put it on... Well, Jill can't have it. I I usually put it on Volug, honestly. I think, I think Volug by far makes the most use out of Renewal. Because he has the most HP. Now, as for Beast Fall, I usually like to put this on Nolan after he promotes. I don't think there's any beasts for us to attack. I, uh, is Beast Fall Cavaliers, or is it just Lagoose? No, it's just Lagoose. Let's use Master Seal and Liana so she can use Wind Magic for the Pegasus Knights. Can you get... Wait, what? Can I, can I get Wind Magic at this point? I cannot. What kind of advice is that? Who's using Resolve? Uh, well, that's usually on Toronio, right? Can you take that often? I don't remember if you can do that. You can actually take Resolve often, but it's not... Hmm. Hmm. Could put it on Nolan. Okay, wait, wait, what's the capacity of Resolve? It's 15, so Nolan will not be able to use it. Give it to Meg? Well, she needs to promote first. Mikaya Resol? 
I guess she could technically use it, couldn't she, if we take discipline off her. So, I mean, could prevent her from dying. No, Mikaya can use it. Mikaya can use her soul if we take discipline off her. Honestly, why not? Why not? Why not give? Why don't put resolve on Mikaya? Might save her. Take it off. He leaves after the next chapter. Sure. Yeah, I agree. But it's only strength, though, isn't it? Uh, it's strength, skill, and speed by one half. So if it procs, Mikaya will get like four speed, which could save her. Honestly. It might save her. I mean. She doesn't need discipline. I'm putting that on her kind of as a joke, so why not? I mean, it could it could save my run. And that means we'll probably... Who needs weapon experience? Probably Meg, I imagine. Yeah, let's just put discipline on Meg. Why not? Doesn't strength counter tone weight? Oh, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, I, th I think giving that... We also have Adept that we could put on someone um, if we don't plan to use Search. He does use Adept pretty well. I, you could give that to Nolan or Edward after they promote. Um, shade is also a skill that I don't really... I'll, I'll probably put... Should have put Shade on Laura. It's not really going to help you all that much, but... I might as well have it in my inventory, right? I will say, I, I, I was never a big fan of Radiant Dawn skill system, but it does allow you to do a lot of cool tricks with your units, which is kind of nice. Anyway, I say we forge an axe for Jill. Yeah, we're totally gonna forge an axe for Jill. I don't remember if we have any coins left. Let's forge our, uh, a red axe. Okay, we don't, we don't have any coins, sadly. All right, it's time for forging game, ladies and gentlemen. All right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and go. What? What does it say? Wait, what? Oh, I'm sorry. I lost you. I didn't see what it said there. I need to... Sorry, sorry, we have to do it again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bidoof. Okay. We do. There you go. Rigged. Of course, always is rigged. Always is gonna be rigged. Ladies and gentlemen, you know how it is. Game is always rigged. How much experience do we have? 800. Let's save it up. I don't remember when it's best to use it. I don't think Soth really needs it. Although he would be a good candidate. I, I'm thinking probably like once Edward or Nolan starts camping out some stats, it might be good to give it to them. I don't know. Uh, oh, we need to give a... Um, I think I'm actually going to give the Killing Edge to Edward. I think he uses it better than Seahark. I think Seahark pretty much kills everything with a steel sword anyway. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. You can give a unit 99 experience so that it... Oh, that's actually... That's true. That is not a bad idea to use bonus experience in an Iron Man setting, actually. I could like I could level up my units so that they get a level instead of cap. That I actually forgot about that. I kind of like that idea actually. 
Just like getting them to 99 so that they level up immediately. Actually not a bad idea. I could have done it with Jill, but it's fine. I don't think she needs it. Okay, Mikhail, I do need to get more. You can give her Paragon though, which gives her 20 experience from sacrifices. I think I'm definitely gonna do that. Yeah, using using bonus experience in this way is fine. All right, we're gonna do meme review after this chapter, guys. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. We can bring out <laughs> We have three deployment slots to spare. That's kind of sad. That is a little bit sad. So, since I don't have any healers, I might use Toronio a little bit more liberally here than I usually do. Although, you should definitely try to give the Dawn Brigade whatever experience that you can. Especially Jill is kind of important to give experience to here. I really... Wait. There's one thing. Um, I forgot to check out the sales thing. Can you get... Can we get yeah, hand axe, that's exactly what I was what I what I thought. Uh and then the card, I don't think that's a big deal, but the javelin I do kinda want. And I think I'm gonna get the mend as well, actually. I know my healer is dead, but Mikaya can use it once she promotes. I don't think you can buy hand axes from the regular shop yet, can you? No, you cannot. Nope, you cannot. All right, let's go. Ba 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 ba. Mend is useless because Mikaya prefers physics. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh right, you can't actually end your ah. I remember now. Wait, 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 I forgot supports, fuck. Oh, I forgot, I might not have had any, but it is something I should have remembered, I think. So, I think I'm actually just going to put Toronio right here. Just gonna check enemies, there's a steel bow, one, two, three, four, five, six. If I put him there, then let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I put Nolan right here, I should be fine. Oh, he doesn't have a hand axe. Be careful of reinforcements. I I'll try to keep that in mind. This map is always a little bit nasty. And I don't think reinforcements notify you when they show up in this game, which can be very annoying. Trade Nolan, one of Jill's hand axes. She only has one, my friend. Hey, Voltron. Bye, Voltron. Oh, okay. Yeah, of course he goes for Seahark. I love not being able to check movement ranges. Titania is really good in this game. She's okay. She's good, but she's not as good as she was comparatively in Path of Radiance, in my humble opinion. In my humble opinion. Yeah, arm scroll. Can you guys tell me where to get that? Because I forget. Oh, you're gonna die, my friend. Jill has two hand axes. Does she? I thought she only had one. Edward not doubling? Yeah. It's just rough, man. It's just rough. Uh, does Jill have two hand axes, really? Oh, she does! Would you look at that? She does. I'll trade them over, don't worry. I love the way the Vibrants fly into view in, in Radiant Dawn. It is so gorgeous, I love it. 
The tiny is special. She gets prettier with age. Chatting, chatting your milfs. Ooh, let's go. Yeah, we got new battle musics. We do. Actually, no. This is the same as it's always been. Just got here. How it's going? We lost some scrubs. Uh, it kind of sucks to lose Laura because she was my healer. It means I'm gonna have to rely on uh, Vulneraris and whatnot. But I am still getting very good levels on Nolan and Edward, which is nice. I have a strength transfer Jill, which is also really nice. Fuck! I hate these conversations! They keep locking me in! Oh my god, I wish someone would patch out the converse feature. Okay, there we go. Nice. I got 14 defense on Nolan. It's actually really good. It's really good. Alright, uh, can we set up a kill for Meg? 15 damage. We need to do 15 damage. Can we do 15 damage? Can so not kill? No. He cannot. Uh, no, he absolutely cannot. Maybe Mikaya? Uh, let's see, Mikaya does 18. What about Seahark with a... Uh, no, he, he, he definitely kills. What about Ileana? Ileana, if she hits, will actually do exactly 15 damage. I think it's worth taking a shot. Nice! Look at that! Ileana dodging. Give Seahark a bronze sword? Yeah, I totally should. I agree. In fact, I think Seahark probably... No, she doesn't have a bronze sword. Okay, interesting. Go get him, Meg. Go get him. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah, Mikaya does almost get one shot. She needs the Angelic Robe on hard mode. It's so important for her. Alright, let's go. Another Meg level up. Hit points, magic, speed, luck, and resistance. Okay. Okay, Meg. Alright, whatever you say. Um, she's getting there, ladies and gentlemen. She's she's getting there. Mm. I hate Pegasus Knights. I hate Pegasus Knights. I hate Pegasus Knights. I hate Pegasus Knights. Now, we do have to be very careful about these Pegasus Knights, because they got, what, they got nine move, right? Eight move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have to be very care careful. And we want to make sure we sacrifice with Mikaya whenever we can to get that experience. Ship experience, very important. Magic, luck, and resistance. That's the most Mikaya level up ever. Put Volug in the heel hedge, I think. Oof, okay. Uh, will you Paragon level Mikaya to 20? That is the idea, yeah. That is the idea. Now, I'm actually gonna go and I'm gonna... You may call it taint, but I'm going to look up the hidden item locations, because I really want those coins. They're, they can be... They are very seldom useful. Did I just get a crash? Oh, no, okay. Whew. Hidden treasure. Let's see. Because these hidden items are very specific. It's not tanked. Of course it's not tanked. Uh, Alright, so let's just do this. So it's right there and right there. Okay, so it's... Uh, there's one 
here, I think. Yeah, there's one right here. And then there's another one right here. Okay. So we, we want to try and try and get those if possible. Coins can be good. Sometimes you get the Super Forge coin, which actually does quite a bit. Okay, I think maybe Meg can get a kill here, maybe. Meg, sorry, Jill. <laughs> I just called her Meg. That's funny. Don't waste coins in the forge. What the fuck am I supposed to use them for, if not for forging? What do you use your forge on? Or your coin on? Sell them? They're worth one gold! You are trolling. You are trolling. I refuse to believe that you are not trolling. You are 100% trolling. Alright, I'm gonna put uh, Edward and Nola next to each other here, and uh, we do need to kill these Pegasus Knights, that's kind of important. Kill this with self, and I, I don't I don't feel bad about using Toronio a little bit here. I think it's completely fine to do that. Again, I'm just keeping keeping watch for Pegasus Knights. And then we're gonna try and keep Edward behind Nolan so that they build support points with wind edges, like so. That should be fine. Are you getting the Volug Seahawk support? Oh, that one. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Is it any good? I know it's double earth, which is nice. I could I could do that. Do you guys want to go for Volug uh, Seahawk support? It's a good way to make them both viable. I've never I don't think I've ever done that before. Well, it's a droppable hammer, nice. I think that one has Nolan's name on it. I thought you were doing Meg Seahark. I don't know actually what I'm doing anymore. Honestly, we should do Meg Brom. Meg Brom. We should do we should do father and daughter support. That is the most wholesome support, I think. Meg Fiona. Oh my fucking god, don't get me started on Fiona. I, look, oh fuck, I forgot about these guys. Look, look. Okay. I know you guys like Fiona. I tried using her, I really did. Oh, nice! Bill... Bill... Bill, I almost said. Bill doubles. Magnesala. I also love that flying units fight each other differently compared to ground units. They actually kind of fly around and do battle in the air. It's really cool. So we have one Pegasus Knight that we need to account for here, which is a bit of a problem. I need to just check their AS real quick. 13 AS. Okay, Micaiah is not doubled. That's good. We might as well go look for the coin, I guess. I think it should be here. There you go. Coin obtained. And uh, I'm not going to bother with these Pegasus Knights. I'm just going to kill them with Toronio, I think. Hmm. Can't wait for you to use Liar. You'll be waiting a while. You'll be waiting a while, my friend. You will be waiting quite a long while. Nice. Cancel with Win Edge. Let's go. Meg Liar. Meg liar. Oh my goodness. You guys you guys got some funny You guys got some funny ideas. I, I will I will give you that. You guys got some very funny ideas. Alright, give me that hammer, boy. Boy.
Mengs in chat, if you like Radiant Dawn, I recommend you to check out the Exalted mod. This is a complete overall of several Ra Radiant Dawn mechanics and is playable up to three in game. Is that the one Vicious Sal is working on? Or am I confusing that with someone else? Because Vicious Sal is very talented, and I know he's I know he's been working on it for a while. I think we're good here. Oh, it's another one, really. Okay. This one is better. Okay, if you say so. Hey guys, what did I miss? You missed some scrubs dying. That's pretty much about it. Not nothing, nothing uh, significant, I'd say. Just om nom nomming some guys. I think I maybe would like to try the Volug Seahawk support. I kind of like the idea of it. Uh, I don't know if I want to support. Hmm. Because I've heard about the support. I've heard it's pretty good. So I might just give it a go. If it's if it's worth something, I might try it out. Ooh, I need to be careful with that. Actually, the Pegasus Knight. Yeah, I need to, I need to be very. Oh, that's a good crit, Joel. Thank you. Woo. Uh, have any of you seen what happens if you uh, translate Volug's uh, supports? Do you, do you guys know what he's actually saying? He's talking about how he's eating everyone he fights and how they taste bad. Oof, I don't like that, but I will survive even a crit, so that's good. They had some fun with the supports, that's all I'm gonna say. They had some they had some fun fun with those supports. Yeah, he's talking about Vor, quite literally. Alright, we got a bow guy here. Is it time, I wonder? Is it time? Okay, so we got we got a bunch of people that we can sacrifice here. We do have to be careful. Sometimes reinforcements will spawn without really alerting the player. So we do know that shoving builds support points right now. So if we want to do the Volug Seahawk support, we might want to shove them. We might want to have them shove each other a little bit, just for fun. Are you gonna train Vika? No, no, Vika. Like, can you train her? She's available in like two chapters. Yeah, there we go. I knew those guys would show up sooner or later. They are Jill food. That's what they are. These guys are Jill food. Don't forget the hidden arm scroll. I'm gonna go get it with Soph. Don't worry. So, but I guess we will shove a little bit back and forth here. I think that's probably for the best. Yeah, I think uh, I'm kind of worried about this archer. I kind of just want to kill him. I, 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 I don't have any patience for this shit. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I think we're good for the time being. I have a bunch of guys that I'm gonna I'm gonna sacrifice with Micaiah just to give her whatever experience she can. Vika is like, oh my god, Vika is not available at all. She's awful. Okay, this ended up being kind of good mega experience though. What the hell? Okay, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we found we found our targets for Meg. We found our Meg targets, ladies and gentlemen. We found our Meg targets. Here we go. Let's surround them. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> there we go. There we go. Mm. Careful there, Edward. Careful. No, don't go for Volu. Go for go for Meg. She's right there. No, 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 no. What are you doing? 
Okay, so I need to make sure that this Pegasus Knight doesn't kill Mikaya. 12 damage. So I can even afford to sacrifice a little bit here. Especially if I surround... Maybe someone else can surround instead of you. There we go. We got it, ladies and gentlemen. We got it. Uh, you can't push Mikaya. I don't need to. I don't need to. The guy doesn't do that much damage to her. Oh, interesting. Now Meg is getting attacked. Okay. Oh, this is nice. It levels up their support as well. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> this is how we train Meg, ladies and gentlemen. I have to be a little bit cautious with Mikaya here, though. I don't... I know it's... How much damage? 16? Mikaya has 13. And she gets 3 defense from Soph. But she also gets... Oh, that's gonna kill her, right? Yeah, shove her away. I will do that. Using Sacrifice without a healer? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Uh, alright, so we'll, we'll... Can we place Seahark in such a way that... Can he shove Volug? I don't think he can. There we go. We're working very hard to give a tiny bit of experience to Meg here. We're working very hard to give a tiny bit of experience to Meg. There we go. It's gonna give her a level, though. It's gonna give her a level. Spook. If I have to use Meg, then this is what I have to do, right? I mean, you guys agree with that. Well, how else am I supposed to level this atrocious unit? Imagine if Meg only gets one HP. Uh, that's... I don't have to imagine it. It's very... Actually, Meg has good growth, actually. She has pretty good growth rates. I think Mikaya is in death range again. This would have been quicker with my healer, for sure. <laughs> this would have been a lot quicker with my healer. I think I might just kill these guys or weaken them with self. Oh, this game is super well balanced. I think one of these guys have a stealable, if I remember correctly. All right, another level for self. Magic skill, speed, and I think... Is he capped speed yet? I don't actually remember. There you go. All right, here we go. Here we go. Speed, luck, and resist. I mean, honestly, as long as she's leveling speed, I'm not mad. Oh, hi. Hi. That's, uh... Those are some reinforcements. Um, what do they have? Javelins and steel lances. Okay, well... We'll start off by weakening them with Jill. More tanks! Let's go! Let's go! More tanks! Woo! I would imagine Seahark probably has a higher growth. I would imagine he probably has a higher growth rate with Lagoose type characters, doesn't he? Because of his love for cat girls. He probably loves wolf boys too, doesn't he? Let's go! She's getting to the point where she can tank Pegasus Knights, which is nice. Saying that about an armor knight is, is kind of sad. But it is the truth. Let's 
the Orcus <laughs> creative self-insert. All right. Uh, I think I need to kill at least a few of these guys to make this viable. There we go. They should add a skill named... Skill named what? The hardest blocking it out. Furry. Ah, oh, right. I mean, it is kind of jokingly implied that he is a furry. I mean, who doesn't think cat girls are cute, though? It doesn't make you a furry. I don't care. Mm. Okay, Meg, if you could get the kill... Will you train the Black Knight? <laughs> He's capped! <laughs> the Black Knight is capped. You can't train him. Oh no, my bronze knife. All right, let's begin the the chore of sacrificing everyone with Mikaya. We gotta give her as much experience as possible. God knows she needs it. I think we're done with most of the reinforcements now. Soth can deal with the remaining ones, or maybe Jill can actually. I think we can let Jill deal with these soldiers or what's left of them. Forge a weapon for the Black Knight. You can give him a bronze lance, which I think is kind of funny. He still kills everything with it, which I think is kind of kind of hilarious. <laughs> Manx, you have to steal? Wait, there's stealables on them? Let me check, let me check, let me check, let me check. Skilled? Oh, I got defense on Mikaya! Let's go! Uh, there's nothing to steal here. There's a droppable steel ants. That's pretty much about it. Milk the healer. Oh, that's right. He heals himself with the staff. That's a good point, actually. I can do that. That's actually kind of funny. Here, I can also kind of abuse the bush to get a lot of sacrifice experience in with um, with Mikaya, which is actually kind of funny. All right. Thanks for the steel lance jump. Now, I know Volug can shove Seahark, but can Seahark show Volug? No. So it's a one-way shoving relationship right here, ladies and gentlemen. Let everyone attack Soth until they break their weapons, then farm with Meg for- ooh. Yeah, no. Sorry, oof. I'm not- I'm not that desperate to taint. We can taint a little bit, but, um... There is a limit to our taint, okay? Whoa! Okay, uh, that's bad. Hit points, skill, and luck. Okay, uh, please tell me I can kill that guy. Yeah, I can. Oh boy, I need another bronze dagger on Soth. And I don't think I get battle preps next turn, do I? I don't think I do. But yes, I can absolutely taint. I can absolutely taint on the priest with Meg. And I think I will do that. You can shove enemies? I know. This is kind of funny though. I'm healing 2 HP per turn with the bush, which means that I can do these like tiny sacrifices on Mikaya, which actually gives her an, uh, some nice experience. It's not really needed though, because um, Mikaya is gonna cap out anyway, but it's just something fun you can do if you want to. Oh, that's a nice crit. Yeah, I'm gonna taint on the priest with Meg, don't worry. Hit points, strength, speed, and luck. Let's go. What a what a first level for Jill. What a first level for Jill right here. That's amazing. 16 speed on her. That is kinda what she needs to snowball, which I really like. Is Mikaya level 20 better than Meg level 20? Uh I don't think so. I think Meg can actually kill things and tank things when she levels up. Um, Mikaya cannot, sadly. Do you get any support points for conversing? Does it have any purpose at all? Do you guys know?
Rest QC Hark with Volum and keep him rest point. You get, really? You get support points for rescuing characters? Are you sure? Or is that something you're making up? Because I never heard about that. It does? How much does it give? I had no idea. That's really cool. How, how many points do they get that way? Is there a cap? I've never heard of this before. All right, let's see. Oh my god. Uh, all right. I think Meg is probably not going to reach the point. So you're telling me that if Nolan picks up Edward and just stands there, he gets points faster. If we just do this. You're saying that actually generates points more quickly. Oh wow, he doesn't heal at all. What the fuck? What the fuck? He doesn't get any healing at all. I thought... I thought you got more from healing. What the hell? Rescuing... How... How... Can someone actually go and read and, and tell me how many support points it actually builds? Okay, so he gets five points for the... Is it random how much he gets? Shove him into the bush? I don't know how. He might go there on his own accord when he's low enough, I don't know. You see, yeah, he gets 5 H. Oh, never mind, he went into the bush willingly. Let's go. <laughs> Meg training arc, let's go. No, read it yourself. I'm streaming! Hit points, magic, strength, skill, and resistance. Let's go. Use bronze. I don't have the bronze sword. It's broken. Or at least I think it is. No, wait. It's on Edward, isn't it? Yeah, I have it right here. I'll pick it up with Jill. Uh, oh, you can't trade with... Oh, interesting. You can't trade... You can... You can only train with the unit when you're holding them. That's, uh, interesting. Does Mikaya take one Ballista in the neck? I think she still gets one shot, if I remember correctly. It's kind of dumb. It's really dumb. You need to scroll? What do I need to scroll for? Alright, here we go. 8 damage from Meg. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go, let's go. Hit points, skill, speed, and luck. Let's go. Are you tainting? No! No, what gave you that idea? I would never taint. I would never taint. I, would, I don't understand how you could even conceive of such a thing. Oh, now she's gets, getting 7 experience per head, so she's getting less. But the guy is healing up all the damage, which is kind of funny. No, 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 I'm not tainting. We're doing this for content, ladies and gentlemen. Best gameplay. <laughs> Look, Radiant Dawn is hard, okay? I want to make sure I get it right. 59. Okay, we'll get one more. Okay, she's actually getting a lot of sword rank. Oh, she's got A rank in swords already. Let's go discipline. We'll, we'll give Meg one more level doing this, okay? Meg and Mikaya one more level, and then we're done, okay? No more tainting past this point. We're not interested in tainting any more than that. <laughs> Egg cell emblem. There we go, and I, th I think Edward has taken some- Oh, we can continue tainting on Edward, let's go. <laughs> we can continue tainting on Edward, let's go. Ellen died Meg in the tower. That's- that's the plan, that's the plan.
Um, watch people, this is the sequel of the Cold. <laughs> this is the Meg. This is the Meg. Meg underground facility right here. You've heard about the Khalil Tunnel, but what about... The okay, now what are we gonna call it? The Meg, uh, the Meg Pipeline. This is the Meg Pipeline, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Meg Pipeline. The <laughs> Meg Feeding Tube! <laughs> That's disgusting. That's disgusting. The Meg feeding tube, that's awful. Magic, luck, and resistance, let's go. Typical Mikhail level up right here. Look at Mikhail's resolve bonuses. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. Yeah, she does have resolve. So she gets, uh, oh, it doesn't actually show, I think. Yeah, no, resolve bonuses don't actually show on the stat screen, I think. Sadly. It should. I don't know why it doesn't. It's really weird. But, uh, she should get, like, four extra bonus points of speed, which can actually save her. Here's the thing, though. Does Resolve proc mi mid-combat? Do you guys know? Do you guys know if Resolve procs mid-combat? Because I actually forgot. It does? Okay, so if she gets- it, it can prevent her from being, being doubled. Because that's, that's like, the only thing I'm interested in. Like, say some Myrmidon comes up and drops her to one health, it could prevent the follow-up double attack, which would save my run. Hey, question! When you bonk someone with a staff, do you deplete its durability? When he bonks me with a staff, does it actually cost- I don't think it- no, it, it definitely doesn't. It should, I think. Because you're attacking with the staff, so why doesn't it cost the durability? It really should. Da -da 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 -da. Alright, I think we're done tainting with Micaiah here, ladies and gentlemen. Staff meta. Here's the thing, the higher level staves have an absurd amount of crit on them. I think we're done, ladies and gentlemen. We have, uh, tainted up everyone. Just one more level on Meg, and I will- I will be satisfied. I will use the Steel Sword. I think she'll- she'll get the level from attacking this guy, so it should be fine. Alright, I'm done. What is taint? It's kinda dewy using weird cheese strategies like this. People call it tainting because it's like, it's not how you're supposed to play the game. It's kind of exploity. But it, I mean, it is part of the game. I mean, you can do this in most Fire Emblem games. Basically, you're finding weird way to milk experience like I'm doing right here. I really don't like this chapter. I'm going to be honest. This chapter scares me. This guy drops a Paragon Scroll, which is nice. Fiona dies here. Oh, Rhea, right. Is, is Fiona an enemy on this map? I don't remember. Or does she join the next one? I don't remember. Oh! Right, she can just die. This is another, but I don't think it's a game over when she does, right? Well, what skill does Fiona come with? She comes with Imbue and Savior. A really weird unit. Uh, let's see, do we have... Please tell me I have some daggers available on Soth. Um... I don't think we do, no. That kinda sucks, not gonna lie. I really wish we did. I think this might be a Toronio map where we just use Toronio a bunch. It's too scary otherwise. We gotta kill the Ballista, that's very important. Look, I'm already using Meg. How many bad units do you want me to use, okay? Mary Fiona. Dr. Victim, not only 50 bu bucks. So while you grind Meg, what if Micaiah was replaced by Echidna from FE6? 
How much cooler would the Dawn Brigade be? Immensely cooler. Can you imagine if Mikaya was a pre-promoted hero with good stats? It'd be amazing. Someone should make a Fire Emblem game with a hero as the main character. I don't understand why someone, why no one has done that before. All right, so I'm, I'm just gonna use Turonia a bunch here. And probably Soth. Uh, I'm gonna send Soth over here to kill the Ballista Men. So I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure this guy one-shots Mikaya, and I just don't want to deal with that shit. So these guys got wind edges, but I think Nolan might actually just be able to handle that. We'll see. Oh, well, I said memes after 1.6. Rescue the old man? Where's the old man? Oh, they have they picked them up yet? No, it happens next turn. I think Meg has reached a point where she can actually fight against these guys now. Well, I say that. Oh shit! <gasps> oh crap! Uh, they're. Oh no! What am I doing? Um, 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 um. What's her defense right now? Twelve. Uh, boo, 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 boo. 12 defense. These guys do what? They do 21. So that's 12. That's uh, 21 minus 12. That's 9. And then it's uh, 25 minus 12. So that's 9 and 13. She actually takes them, but I have to kill. I have to kill the swordsman. Seahawk might die. Seahawk might die. So I have Nolan right here with 14 defense, and he gets uh, another defense from Edward. I'm just gonna pray that he takes these guys. And then I'm gonna send Jill over here to try and uh, see if I can kill some of the mages. Seahawk might die. Right now, she might she might die, or Seahawk might die. You know what? If one of these guys goes for Edward, I'm actually okay with that. Shove him. I love the old man. <laughs> so here, there's a chance that wait, is it a game over if Fiona dies? I don't think it is, right? I'm fairly certain it isn't. Thirteen hit with the wind edge, my goodness. Wind edges have shit stats. It is a game over if she dies, okay. If all civilians die, okay. Because I know that some of them can just randomly die, which is really annoying. Check defeat condition. That's right, you can do that in this game. I forget. I think the two of them can deal with this together. It's a lot of cavalry, though. It's a lot of guys for Nolan to face at once. Okay, they're going for Volug. Okay. Interesting. I mean, I don't mind, but it's, it's kind of weird. The animations in this game are very good. Yeah, I like them. They've aged very well. Considering they're from, like, 2009, they're really good. Oh, wow, okay. They didn't want to go for Meg at all. Oh, kill for Meg, let's go! Kill for Meg, let's go! Yeah, this is where Fiona can just die. If you're not careful, it's really dumb. Let's go get a Meg! Okay, we might have to use the Forge here. One thing I really hate about Meg is that she's a sword armor knight, but her accuracy is shit. 
even with like a good forge, I find that she doesn't hit things reliably. It's so annoying. It's like the one thing she should be able to do is hit her target, but she can't even do that. What a shit unit. Is it because of Byrhythm? In this case, it actually was. I, I I bet you feel real vindicated now, chat, don't you? You're actually right for once. It was Byrhythm. Oh shit, I didn't realize you could- wait. I didn't realize there was a river here. That could have gotten me killed. Huh, do you think Nolan- Do you think Nolan is able to deal with all these guys? There's a lot of units here. Um, he's got very good defenses. What's his Byrhythm? He's, he's got bad Byrhythm right now. That's actually really bad. Um, five damage, six to one hit. Mm. Uh, I don't know. If I sacrifice him, maybe. I mean, I, I have to form a wall, but he's got thirty-six HP. What if I, I I'll kill the um, I'll kill one of them with Toronia. I do have to watch out for the Ballista. Do you guys remember the range of the Ballista? Is it, is it 10 from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? I think it's 10. So I think if I send Edward right here... Ten range, okay. Should be fine. Should be fine. Alright, we're banking on Nolan right now, ladies and gentlemen. We're banking on Nolan. Alright, so here, there's a bunch of cats here, and they'll definitely kill Jill. Uh, but you do have this this Elfire guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Does she have nine or eight moves? She has eight moves. So she'd need to get a little closer for that to work. I think I'll fly her up here. Maybe she can do something nice here. Mangs, despite your false claims of not being an armpit fetishist, Micaiah's armpits are on the thumbnail. You got me there. Oof. Exposed live on air right here. Yeah, I guess it's over. It's over, guys. Oof has exposed me. Oh, big dono. Let's go. Anthony BM donated 100 Canadian bucks for Super Chat. Eggy Wiggy, Bacon Peggy Wiggy, Wee Wee Wee. <laughs> my favorite donator right here. My, my, my absolute favorite donator right here. Eggy Peggy, Bacon Wiggy, Wee 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 Oh. Hitborn strength, magic, skill, and luck. Okay, we can get Nolan to promotion, I think, in Act 1. He just needs to survive this. Um, this could be a little scary, actually. If he keeps getting hit, it could be really bad for him. Nolan, could you stop getting hit, please? Could you stop? Could you please stop getting hit? I think he's okay, because these guys deal seven damage to him. Okay, that that he's definitely okay now. Thank you so much, Anthony BM. I appreciate it. You always make me laugh during streams, which is very nice. Nolan is fine, yeah, look at him. He's great. He cleared out that entire host. It's amazing. And then I, I like to send uh, Toronio to tank the Ballista and kill the... I, I, I tend to kill the boss with Toronio as well. I think it's fine to do that. Yep, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Please run. 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 Canto out of there. Thank you. Yeah, that's the guy who can end your run. Because he has a low percentage chance to crit. But the other guy seems to be attacking, which is good. I wish you could- I wish you could take units. I really wish you could. This would have been really nice. 
So here I need to see how da how dangerous these guys are to Jill. They do 11 damage to her, so it's not like I can just... I can't kill that guy, but it does open up Jill. Let's see, this guy has, what, seven, six move? Or five move. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, may just have less movement than armor knights and Talius. That's actually really funny. Um, so I can kill one of the calves, but I need to make sure that I survive the other two. Eleven. Eight. So that's uh, 19 damage, and then the Myrmidon might kill me, so maybe not a good idea. Maybe we just... Maybe we just attack with Jill and miss? Okay. Alright, I think we'll just hold this position for a little bit. I hate it when mages... They have worse move than armors! It, it's actually incredible. It is actually incredible. I don't know why they're so bad. I don't know why Talius hates mages. I think I think I think Talius thought mages were too OP, and so they just decided to universally nerf them across the board. They're not great in Father Radiance either. Uh oh, Green Unit Massacre incoming! Green Unit Massacre! Oh no, Lady died! What are the mages doing? Are they avoiding me? It's kind of funny. Run, 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 run! Get out of here! Get out of here! No, no, don't heal! Run, run! Alright, I think it's time for us to just move up, kill the ballista. Oh, I forgot. I need to check the hidden items. I forgot. Uh, let's see. Hidden items... Let's see. Only the blue. Okay, I think it's isn't it a scroll on this map? I actually don't remember. There is something. Old man should have been recruitable. I agree. Best character in Fire Emblem right here. But yeah, I'm keeping Mikaya far away from that ballista. I don't remember how much damage it does. Good job, Search. Too many close calls. Yeah, it's been a few close calls here. Been a little nasty. But we should be fine. Here comes the mages. Gotta be careful about them. These guys are gonna run back to get healed. Why did they nerf Thunder Magic, then Radiant Dawn to the point where it's literally useless? Okay, that, I thought that was Micaiah. Holy shit, that made my heart stomp. Why did they nerf Thunder Magic so much? I, I, I really don't know. I mean, they thought maybe because... I, I think that their thought pattern was either... Oh shit, holy shit, man. I think they, they thought that high crit rates were too broken. So they were like, we gotta give Thunder very bad stats since it has crit. I, I think that might be it. I'm not sure, though. Anyway, uh, Toronio can definitely kill the boss. The question is, do we want... I think we probably want to milk a little bit more experience, right? So I think we're going to pull back and wait for those guys to come. Here we actually have to be a little bit careful because... Again, they, the river actually is traversable. Alright, let's go and kill these mages because they can actually kill the Lug. There we go. I love the skill activations in Radiant Dawn. They are so immensely satisfying. Like if you agree. Fiona's safe. Yeah, she's not in danger of dying anymore. Have you guys noticed that Volug is almost always like one exact... Like he always does exact damage, which I find kind of impressive. Any green unit die? Yeah, we lost two green units, so not perfect chapter, but, you know, what can you say? Alright, we're gonna let Fiona and our cronies go down there, and then we're gonna let Edward and Nolan deal with these cavaliers. Oh, hi! I, for <laughs> I forgot about those guys, oh my goodness. I completely forgot about those guys. Hey, 
Any bonus experience from green unit? Yeah, you get you get some for keeping them alive. It's it's not much, but it is a little bit. Ooh, I gotta kill these guys now. Uh, I might Lucy Hark. Shit. Um. Oh no, Valug! <gasps> no, Valug! What are you doing? Why don't you kill? Oh no! Wait, I can. I don't think the last guy has a hand axe. I think I can surround. Okay, yes, it's the Alex, thank god. Oh my goodness. That was very scary. I didn't like that. Yeah, Kanto exists. I know, I know, I know. Whew. Okay, red gem. Very sweet. We need the gold. We need the money. I don't think there's any coins on this map. I think I have one coin, so we'll be able to hoard something nice next turn. Walug already fell off. He's already starting to get to the point where he can't one round, but this is Radiant Dawn for you. Which is how it works. I wish Fiona actually escaped the battlefield so you wouldn't have to watch the green unit face anymore, but oh well. Alright, it's time for Walug to eat Seahark. Om nom 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 nom. Build supports, please. Walug is good as long as you level his strike rank. Yeah, if you level Walug's strike rank, it is true. Um, you do actually get... Uh, okay, we got some bows here. Um, I'm not sure if I like this. I think I might just pull back just a little. I don't, I don't want to take on all those guys at once. I feel like that could be bad for me. So I'm going to move back here with the Wind Edge. And then put Toronio right here. And again, I know... Oh, right. Again, you got to be very careful here. They can actually move around this river a lot more than you might think. Okay. They definitely have an A-rank support at the end of this, though. 100% they do. Opinion on Wolf Knight as a class. Um, so it's a it's a mounted class with daggers. I like the concept. Uh, I think they look a little silly with their tails. I don't know why they decided to go with that. It just seems a little weird to me, so... I'm not a big fan of Edward's chances here. I think I'm gonna... Ooh. Oh, wait. Cavs cannot move on rivers, right? I don't think Cavs can move on rivers. I'm fairly certain they cannot, right? They cannot, right? No, they cannot. Okay, I hope Nolan will be okay now. <laughs> we can actually get quite a lot of experience out of this, because they all run back to get healed, which is kind of funny. I think we can definitely get Nolan to promotion in this chapter if we want to. Who would you say is better in this game, Mia or Searic? I actually think Mia is better. Uh, Mia's stats are ridiculous. She's easily one of the strongest Grail mercenaries. Like, her stats are incredible. She one rounds enemies quite consistently. Let's go. Oh my god, Nolan is so good. My Nolan is so good. Holy shit. I can't, I, I cannot get over how insane my Nolan is. I have a goblin. It's crazy. Mia is good with bonus experience? Yeah, I agree. I agree. Alright, I think I'm just gonna wait for them to come back, really. Problem is, these guys got two range weapons right now, which means that they're just gonna true range Nolan, which is a little annoying. Ooh, Edward, careful. I thought Mia was trash until I tried giving her Adept. Yeah, Adept is pretty good on Mia. Oh, careful. Careful, Edward. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Please be careful. Woo! -y. I forget that Edward is not very durable at all. He is not very durable at all. All right, I am actually out of Vulnerary on Mikaya, believe it or not. Yeah. 
Yeah, I gotta be more careful. I really gotta be more careful with Edward. He's very squishy. He's got as much HP as Mikaya. It's actually kind of it's kind of pathetic, really. Oh, the beast killer is. I I keep thinking the beast killer is effective against cats. It really should be, in my opinion. It really should be. If bows are effective against Pegasus Knights and Lagoose, I think that beast beast killer should be effective against Cavaliers. In in my humble opinion, they are beasts. Do 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 do. This isn't awakening things. I know, I know. The horses are beasts. A horse is a beast. It is a beast. It is classified as a beast. What are you talking about? You are wrong. All right, let's go. Mikaya, level 11, or sorry, 12. Magic, luck, defense. She got defense again. This is actually really good. This is actually very solid. I Usually I like to finish off the remaining of these bosses with, with Toronio, Toronio because the Ballista plus all the calves just... You could also like just wait out the Ballista ammo, which is certainly a way to do it. And probably better for experience long term, so I might just do that. It allows me to build some support points while I sit around, so probably not a bad idea. Guys, who should I support Jill with? I actually haven't decided yet. Me, me, me. Har. Har Jill is a little bit of a meme, if I'm going to be completely honest. I don't like it that much because they're not actually together for a long part of the game. They're, it's very good support in the end game, I will admit, but in the early game, I don't think it's that good, actually. Jill Makalo? <laughs> I'm not using Makalo, guys. Definitely not using no Jill and Seahark. Hmm, but I'm using I'm doing Seahark Volug, so that's not gonna happen. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Jill Fiona. I gotta admit, guys, I, I don't think I have the patience to use Fiona, I just don't. Like, I'm already tainting like crazy with Meg to try and get her viable. I don't think I have the patience to do that with two units. There are definitely ways you can train Fiona, and she does turn out somewhat decent if you do, but you're gonna have to, like, petrify with Nyla. You wanna petrify a priest, because it gives 10 defense. Alright, now we're gonna send Nolan and Edward together to pull the remaining Cavaliers. I might kill a few of them with... I might kill a few of them with Toronio. Uh, I do have to go and get the blue item though, so I'm gonna go do that right now. No, 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 I want you to rescue, what the hell? You guys, you guys know about the Nyla Petrify trick, right? You petrify... oh, what the fuck? You petrify a priests. And by using the priests, you, when you petrify someone, I think you give them 10 or 20 extra defense. Okay, that was a little bit scary. I don't like that. I think I might just finish this map with Taroni, honestly. I don't want to risk it. But at the same time, man, it's so nice to... Uh, it's so nice to use Nolan here. Okay, so we have a javelin cab, we have this guy, I'm probably just gonna kill him. And then I'm gonna send Nolan up. I, I don't I think Toronio one runs the boss. I don't remember though. Any thoughts on Toromod? He's okay in Path of Radiance, he sucks in Radiant Dawn because he's not fucking available. Like, he's, he's just not available. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can get that item now. So I'm gonna send Soth up here. It's here, right? Let me just double check. 
Uh, yeah, it's literally right here. Oh, it's a master seal. Not bad, not bad. Oh my god, look at this, look at this. Okay, so, does Toronio one round the boss? He does. Quite convincingly, too, actually. I'm thinking we should probably try and give it to Nolan if possible. I don't think we can do that, though. He's got Javelin and a Steel Eye. I think we just kill him with Toronio, honestly. It's probably just for the best, I think. Tormod is actually good in Radiant Dawn. Yeah, for like the two chapters you have him. But then he, he does the same thing that like 10 other characters does in that he just fucks off and never comes back. Which is just very annoying to deal with. Toronio or Black Knight? Black Knight murders Toronio, stat-wise. But you have Toronio earlier. I think I'm just gonna kill him. Tree chapter, sorry. Who gets Paragon? Probably gonna put it on Mikaya just to get her to level 20. Alright guys, we're gonna do meme review after this, so please send in your memes if you haven't already. Power gold, let's go! Probably not gonna get a lot of bonus experience, I think. It's too bad so many units are unusable. Well, they really don't have a choice, do they? When you have a roster of 90 characters, you can't make everyone usable. They definitely... Okay, I actually got quite a lot of bonus experience there. It's pretty nice, honestly. All right, I'll be right back. The Liberation Army's sweeping victory seems to signal a turn in the war for day in. However, General Jared uses his superior numbers to harry the group and threaten their fragile momentum. Benyan has fortified its army with weapons and supplies bought with funds stolen from Dayan. Benyan has also purchased the swords of a vast number of mercenaries from these same stolen funds. The Liberation Army does not want for willing fighters of its own. However, most are old men and inexperienced boys whose passion far outstrips their skill. The Liberation Army has no choice. It must bolster its ranks if it is to meet Benyon on equal terms. Its only hope lies locked in Benyon's prison camps, where Dayin's former soldiers await their rescue. Perfect time. Let's go. Uh, this is not the prison map, is it? Or is it? I think it might be the prison map, actually. Okay, meme review. Ghost Rick, donate a 10 bucks for Super Chat. Rescuing is the best way to build support points, while shoving is the worst. Shoving is also the only action that can decrease support points depending on the person. Most of these involve Oliver? Are you shitting me? When Oliver shoves people, he loses. That's so funny. That is actually so funny. What a, what a wacky system. But yeah, okay, I'll keep in mind rescuing as a way to uh, build supports. I'm guessing Nolan and Edward probably has an A-rank support by now. And Volug CR definitely probably should have reached C-rank. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I get it. Alan can occasionally be pretty fun to use, but most of the time he's not. On hard mode, just it doesn't treat him nice. But I get it. People really love soldiers for some reason. <laughs> I'm feeding priests. To oh, that's adorable. I'm feeding priests to Meg. I'm feeding priests to Meg. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Ooh, someone drew. Someone actually drew art. Mm -hmm.
Okay, let me just get all the mails. I'll show off the artwork that I got sent while I download the rest, because it's actually pretty. Look at that! He drew Seljus. That's amazing. You know, I love it when you guys draw me stuff. I know that AI art has disincentivized some artists to do this, but I will always appreciate... I will always appreciate hand-drawn stuff over AI. As much as I like AI art, um, I really do appreciate hand-drawn art a lot. So please, please continue to send me uh, hand-drawn art because it really makes my day. <laughs> That's uncanny. That's uncanny. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Cardboard tank. Let's go. Finally, Mangsmath. Speaking of which, I could use another shot. Woo! Woo! Oh, I hit the spot. Love Mangsmath. Valuk kills an enemy. It's free food. <laughs> Lin fine art to get to your attention. Please read the text and mail. I did actually. I did glance over it. I I, I talked about the FE five patch at the start of the stream. I like it. It looks good. If it's finished, I'd love to do an Iron Man of it. Chat, Mangs, just Google it. But I'm str I can't Google something while I'm streaming, okay? Human? You dare call that thing human? Feet, feet! Wow, I haven't seen Brattleguard memes in a while. Thought they'd never come back. XP tank. <laughs> uh, <coughs> Meg, let's go. Why didn't you check uh, the enemy range? You cannot check enemy. I think people at this point are doing it just to annoy me at this point. Yeah, I think they're just annoying me at this point. All right. Uh, Superfly. Ooh, someone gifted subs on Twitch. Hi, Twitch. Thank you. Kind of forget you exist sometimes. Thank you for the gifted subs. You need to feel the range. Exactly, PH. PH understands. Oh, hi, Palius. How are you doing, worst character? Oh, thank you. I appreciate the brave sword. That is nice. Okay. So, uh, let's see. We can get... Yep, we can get the Seahawk support. 15 avoid at C rank. It's disgusting how good this thing is. And we can get the A rank support. Boom. 23 avoid, 8 hit, 2 defense. That's a good defensive support right there. Uh, Mega can support with all of these guys. I don't really see the point, though. Um, Jill can support with Seahark. Nah, I think I'd save that. But Seahark Volug being able to support like this is pretty nice. Pelias is a bad unit. Yeah, I don't like him. Oh, speaking of bad unit. Say hello to Fiona. I think Fiona is probably contender for worst unit in Radiant Dawn. There are many reasons for this. So, Fiona... Let me see if I can find her growth rates right here. Fiona is what you call a growth unit. But is she really, though? Because growth rates are generally pretty high in Radiant Dawn. It's not that her growth rates are bad, but they're not very good either. Not by Radiant Dawn standards. Most units in Radiant Dawn have growth rates like this, so I wouldn't say that Fiona's growth rates are anything special. They're like a little bit above average, I guess. She's got good defense and rest, good speed. But her HP and strength are atrocious by Radiant Dawn standard. Here's the thing. Here's the thing about Fiona. Even if she had the best growth rates in the world, her caps still suck. As a tier three, what she's Silver Knight she promotes into, her caps are ass. Like, I've trained her and I've taken her to the tower, and her performance was mediocre, to say the least. It was very mediocre. Even when you train her, 
she doesn't do much. Um, she has this weird gimmick. I mean, Savior is nice. I like Free Savior, I'll take it. I'd, I'd say this is the best part about her, honestly. Savior is a very nice skill to have. I, I like that she can rescue people without losing speed. So if you train her, she can run around and pick people up when they're in danger and to absolute no danger to herself, which I do like. Imbue, uh, it's a shitty renewal. I mean, it's a shitty renewal. She has a, she can potentially get her magic up a little bit to the point where she heals like maybe 10 points per turn, which is, it, it's, it's a shitty renewal. Um, it's better to take Imbue off her and give it to someone else, in my opinion. Boyd and Nolan are in the weird spot of having all the glorious caps, but issues with their girl. Yeah, exactly. Alright, so we can forge something now, and I don't... What was I gonna forge again? Um... I think I was gonna forge... Well, first, first things first. We have a brave sword for Edward, which is really nice. And uh, we do... Let's, let's just start by... Doing this. Forge a lance? For who? Who's gonna use the lance? Teronia? So I have an axe for Jill. I have an axe for Nolan. I have a sword for... Oh, you want me to forge it for Fiona, do you? Well, yeah, Fiona will tank all right. I mean, okay, so... <laughs> okay, all right. How about, how about this, ladies and gentlemen? We train Fiona, and we support her with, <laughs> with Meg. Oh yeah, Meg Heaven. Heaven Earth, literally. Heaven and Earth. Meg and Fiona together on the front lines. I mean, it's the shit duo, isn't it? Okay, alright. Let's forge a lance for Fiona. Oh, we, we need money. Let me sell the red gem. Oh, there we go. Alright, here we go. Here we go, Fiona. Let's, let, let's see. Let's see what we get for the coin. Maybe we'll get something really nice. Five crit, okay. It's not my favorite, but uh... Okay, ladies and gentlemen, time for Forge game, your favorite game. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Soy Jack <laughs> Soy Jacka, let's go. Soy Jacka. <laughs> Soy Jacka, that's funny. All right, now I need to go buy a uh, dagger. Let's see, there we go, bronze. Oh, we have an iron, we can buy iron daggers now. Maybe we should do that. Oh wait, these are one range. Uh, no, we need we need more two range daggers. Probably two, honestly. We do we do go through them pretty quickly. Oh, I forgot to check what's being sold at, uh, what was sold in a special. Uh, wind Edge, Iron Longbow, nah, none of these are. Secret Book, I don't think 8K for two points of so skill is worth it at this point. Wind Edge just worth it? You think so? I would need to sell something, though, if I'm gonna do that. Are the skill book good for Meg? Ah, it's so much money, though. It's so much money.
We would have to sell Fiona. <laughs> Uh, we could sell them. No, you can't sell Master Seals. I don't think we need the chest key. We do need our vulneraries. Uh, sell an Onscroll, maybe? Honestly? I would I would rather sell the Armscroll. So, we're getting a Bronze Sword for Seahark. And we're getting the... Let's go to the shop and look at the special discounts. Yeah, Wind Edge is very good. I, I absolutely agree. It's it's a great... It's important to have 1-2 range shorts. Don't forget to talk to Edelgard in this chapter. I, don't know, I think you're I think you're mixing up streams, my friend. Uh, can you buy hand axes yet? I, I forget. No, you can still not buy hand axes. I don't know when that's gonna happen, but apparently not yet. However, I will be putting a Master Seal on Nolan, because he will promote to Warrior this chapter. Because he's level... He might promote to Warrior, I'm not sure. I need to train Edward more. Anyway, let's uh, look around. Let's uh, have some fun with skills. I think I'm definitely putting Paragon on Mikaya. She's really the only one who can use it. There we go. So what do we have here? We have... Maybe just Resolve on South. I mean, who else, really? And we have a uh, beast foe. Meg, I don't think needs discipline anymore. We can probably take that offer and put her put it on someone else. Maybe Fiona? Oh, she can't use it. Um, who, who who needs to train their rank? Let's see. Who needs to train their rank? Um, everyone has capped ranks actually, except for Seahark, maybe. Yeah, why not? Meg doesn't need discipline anymore. Kinky. Um, hmm. I don't think is Toronio isn't the, isn't available for this map, right? So we should just take us. We should take a shit. Sell fortune? No, dude, it's good. Like it, it, it's actually nice that Meg. Like if I'm gonna train Meg. It's actually very nice that she doesn't get constant. It's, it's actually very nice that she doesn't get crit. Even though her luck is pretty high, it's very nice to have 0% crit. One of my favorite Radiant Dawn tips, remember to take all weapons off Lucia, that one part 2 map, and all the weapons on Joffrey and Alincia. They'll get Brave Lance and Silver Swords when they return. Yep, you get free Brave weapons if you do that. It's kind of funny. So they definitely thought of that. Uh, Matt McCleskey donated five bucks. Do you feel Radiant Dawn is a slog to play Truant during part one? I don't think it's a slog. I think it's it's tricky. It, it's a very front-loaded, difficult game, especially on hard mode. I don't think it's a slog. I like I quite like some of these chapters. I would say part one definitely not the, my favorite bit about Radiant Dawn. It definitely gets better. I think Act Three is probably the most fun, where you get to play around with the Grail Mercs. Why not Maniac Mode? I am playing Maniac Mode. It's the same thing. Maniac Mode and Hard Mode are the same mode. I'm not... There is no higher difficulty than what I'm playing. Use the Master Seal on level 20 units? I intend to. I don't have that many level 20 units, though. Uh, I have... Uh I, I'm, I'm carrying one Master Seal with me for Nolan. That's pretty much about it. But he will become a warrior in, in part one, which I which I quite like. And I'm going to try and give Edward a bit more experience, too. Wait, what happened to Edward? Oh, right. I haven't... I should for... Oh, right. There we go. I was like, where's the Brave Sword? I hate the Crimean defense chapter. Oh, that's my favorite. What are you talking about? I fucking love that chapter. It's so much fun. Alright, so here I do like to send a few units north. Um, but not too many. Hmm. 
So there are many ways you can go with this chapter, but you gotta be, I, I do like to send a lot of my units to the right though. So that is what I'm going to do. I could send Volug and Hark together this way, and then oh, Edward and Nolan together the other way, which probably is works. Oh, hey. So we want to try and keep Meg and Fiona together if possible. This is also like one of the few good chapters for Thani bombing. Just actually pretty nice. Oh, ho, he supported the Arc with the dog. Yeah, what's wrong with that, BH? You don't like you don't like the Sea Arc support? I love Meg. What a great unit. What a great unit, ladies and gentlemen. What a fantastic unit. Would early promoting Meg or Fiona make them better? I think it would make them much harder to use, personally. Sierra is too friendly with animals. Yeah, a little bit. Brave Sword Meg. Oh my god. You're right. I could Brave Sword Meg. You're not wrong, actually. Oh, hi, Tormont. I need to go recruit those guys. I don't think Tormont has a chance to die here, but... Oh, let's go. It's time for a nuke. Let's go. Zoom. <laughs> Promagains are kind of bad in Talius. Ah, uh, they're not great. But you get other things. Such as skill capacity and stuff like that. Well, my Mikaia is coming along pretty nicely. She's definitely gonna cap out. All right, let's see if we can, uh, can we get a kill here with Soijaka? We need some help. Okay, that actually works. All right, first Fiona kill, ladies and gentlemen. First of many Fiona kills, ladies and gentlemen. I can't fucking believe I'm doing this. There we go. Soy Jaka. I can't fucking get over this name. <laughs> Soy Jaka. <laughs> it's such a. Wait, uh, no, they cannot attack through the wall. Fucking Soy Jaka, man. I'm gonna use the Brave Sword here, just to be safe. Is Soijaka actually an emote? Oh no, Edward! Your first bad level up! No! His first bad level up, ladies and gentlemen. I am sad. Edward is falling off. He is. I think I'll stick. Wait. This guy's got a steel lance. I'll just use the wind edge. I could deal some damage to him at least. So I think it's Mikaya who recruits uh, Tormon. So I just gotta get our, a little bit closer to him. Nice job, Seahark. We gotta try to do what we can to rescue those prisoners. We get some nice uh, experience from them, so... Ooh, another kill for... Oh, the green units are probably gonna take it, aren't they? Oh, it's Sulfur recruits him. Okay, that works. I think he's in range. 
He'll come closer now, so that's good. Oh, Tormod, you scared the shit out of me, man. Alright, so we got... I, I can never remember 100%. I can never completely remember how these guys work. I think some of them are linked to each other, but I don't remember. Ooh, okay. Uh, alright. I guess we'll just stay next to each other. There are mages here, so I need to be a bit cautious. Their support makes them really good together, but I also just kind of, like, charge into the enemy. It's just 15 extra, boy. Oh, nice. Weapon level up. Let's go. Did I give him discipline? Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, he's got S already. Nice. Uh, Alright, let's talk to Torgod. Hey, Torgod. Best recruitment conversation ever. Alright, let's talk about three units that don't really matter. Starting with Torgod, um, he's another one of those join, leave, never come back units. Which is really sad. I mean, he does kick a lot of ass in the, like, three chapters you have him. With 20 speed and 17 magic, but... Once he comes back, his stats are woefully underwhelming. Radiant Dawn really should have had auto-leveling, I think. Uh, it was desperately needed for them to auto-level units. Tormod does not auto-level. No units in Radiant Dawn auto-level. And that makes Tormod very hard to use. His absolute best contribution to the team is to take Celerity off him and put him on one of the other units. Marime! Um... Same thing that I said about Tormod applies to Marim. He he is here, he does a lot of damage, and then he leaves and he never comes back. That's pretty much about it. And when he comes back, he's not good enough to fight. Now, the next unit is a little different, because while Tormod and Marim are pretty good in the few chapters they're here, Vika just fucking sucks. She doesn't really reliably kill. Uh, her gauge is short. Yeah, she's hot. I agree. That's the only thing. She, she's got a cool design. That's the only thing going for her. But just like the Tormod's gang, she is here. She leaves. She never comes back. She, she, she's, you know, she's like modern woman. She just leaves you. So uh, don't invest anything into her and you'll be happy. But, I mean, use them for what they're worth in this chapter, but... Which isn't much, but, you know, if you need to. So I think, yeah, I'll, I'll send Mikaya over here, sacrifice Tormod. So, if I just wait before I kill the boss, and I just hold on to Meg for like 20 turn turns, then they will start to build supports, right? That's the that's the idea. Don't invest into any of them because they leave you. Very sus to say that while engaged. Well, I'm not with a modern woman. I'm, I'm dating a, a southern Christian Baptist girl. <laughs> She's not modern. She's very traditional. So, checkmate. Ugh. She's a time traveler? No. Oh my god. Yes, okay. Yeah, let's just go with that. She's a time traveler. <laughs> Literally calling his fiance old. That's not what I'm doing. Uh, okay, so, again, I can never remember... I think I'm just used- oh my god, 49 hit with the hammer, what the fuck? Um... I think this guy moves, but I'm not sure about the other guy. Bethany is actually a thousand-year-old dragon. Yeah, yeah, you got me there. That's it. Oh, okay. I thought Jill would be able to kill her. I guess not. 
Oh, a door key. What I do like about Radiant Dawn is that you can just smash doors. Of course, maybe I shouldn't do that too quickly because now they start running. Um, oops. Yeah, that Letke, man. That Letke is pretty nasty. I think we're just gonna do this. This is like one... Oh, Vika can't even fly up there. Oh, right. Fiona can't even get anywhere from here, can she? I guess I'll just rescue Meg with her and just go the long way around. Can Armor Knights go up Letke? I don't remember if they can. I think they can, right? Yeah, they can. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why I thought they couldn't. But Cavaliers cannot go up Letke. What's a Letke? Oh, uh, sorry, Ledge. I say Letke because of oh, ancient memes. This is why I fucking hate there not being a weapon triangle. Under no circumstances should an Armor Knight with a hand axe have a 45% chance to hit me. Oh shit, Baloo. Oh, I howled. Interesting. Is that immobilize? Oh my god, I never seen that proc before. What the? No, come back! You fucking moron, come back here. I've never seen that proc before. What does it do? Does it just stun? I think it just stuns, right? Huh. Yeah, it literally stuns. That's cute. Talk? Alright. They have a talk together. Mmm, cool. Mm. Alright, let's uh, sacrifice Taint a little bit here. I think Mikaya's gonna hit level 20 incredibly easily. But I still enjoy... Yeah, oh, another thing that I actually forgot to mention with Fiona is that all Cavaliers on indoor maps, they get minus two move. It's not really a big deal, uh, but it is annoying. Like, the fact that they don't get to use their full moves, and they can't go up Letkiss or something, stuff like that. So, it's just a little bit annoying. Very cool gameplay feature. It is a little bit annoying, yeah, it is. And yes, I'm using a Vulner to heal 1 HP. Sue me, okay? I think I will just kill this mage. I have no patience for this shit. The hammer looks stupid. Yeah, it looks kind of dumb. It doesn't look like any Warhammer I've ever seen. It, it is incredibly badly designed. There is one modern Fire Emblem design that is actually tested and approved by by Scalagram, and that is the Fates Armor Slayer. Fates and Awakening Armor Slayer is... He's, he tested it, and he came to the conclusion that it's actually a very good weapon. Wait, why am I letting these guys out? I need to clear the area first. Yeah, the Armor Slayer actually has a very solid design. Like, the way it's designed- oh god. Well, um... Okay, I should have- I should have taken Adept off him. I didn't realize he'd die. Alright, uh, new plan. We need to support Volugop with someone else. Yeah, I'm kind of sad about Adept, though. I really like to take Adept off. I do like to take Adept off and put it on someone else. Yes, I attacked with Vika. 
Yeah, that was, uh, uh, that was not great. I kind of wish that hadn't happened. Ah, why not? Let's attack a little bit with our mod, shall we? Give him some action. Okay, now they're moving. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember what causes these guys to start moving. <laughs> you killed Meg's fiance. Okay, so we need to find. Uh, we need to find. Oh my God! Please don't die. No! 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 Not my Edward. Please! No! 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 Not my Edward! Please! No! 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 Oh! Oh! Woo! Woo! That was scary. All right, so who do we uh, who do we support Baloo with now? That's the that's the big question, isn't it? More experience for Edward? I guess. Oh, there's three enemies here now, though. This is not great. Uh... If we can kill one of them, we can... Oh my god, really? Um... Yeah, we kind of need to run away here. I think this will be okay. Just use the vulnerary here to heal him up to full. Dude, stop playing stupid if you want good units in your army. Oh, oh, I, lo I love this kind of comment. If only you played better. If only you played better, man. You wouldn't lose your units. You try Iron Manning, dipshit. You try this. It's hard, okay? It's really hard. <laughs> Run away. Heal him. It's okay. We'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine, because there's two mages left, some archers. Um, well, we'll find a way to deal with this. If Manx played better, it would be less fun. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Self-certified Fire Emblem professional. Yeah, exactly. Mm -mm. <sighs> some people in chat needs to stop their pills. Oh my good P. Oh my goodness, PH. By the way, PH, when are you gonna finish 3B? Work more on 3B. Hey boy, the strengths. Oh my god. 20 strength on Nolan. Let's go. Wait, is he still gonna get hit? Oh my god. Oh, thank god. Right. 3B will never be finished. Okay, now I think we can get two kills for Godward. Nice, okay, little green units run away. Ba -ba -ba. So, if I remember correctly, I don't think those archers move. I think they just stand there. I'm not sure, but I think they do. So, I think we can taint on them. Go. Well, I think we're giving both of those kills to Edward, honestly. Okay, do we do Jill Volug? Is that what we do? How do we... Uh, we can't... No, we can't really build supports with them, though. It doesn't work, because... Hmm... Jill and Volug is a decent support. Yeah, but she, they can't rescue each other. So how? And then they can't shove each other. So how am I gonna build? How am I gonna build their support? It's gonna be very hard to do that. You can put them adjacent. Oh, they they just gain support when they're adjacent to each other passively. I actually didn't know that. 
I thought you have to rescue each other for that. But that that's good to know. Ooh, I really don't like this. I'm gonna have to... Really, Nolan? Oh my goodness. Pretty cringe to support Jill with the furry. And they got some things in common, you know? Yes, I have the Master Seal. I don't think Nolan is hitting level 20 in this chapter, though. I really don't. Did you ever start working on the Subaki Spotlight, or was it just a scrapped idea from the start? I do be Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Uh, I did work on it, and then I kind of just forgot about it. I don't remember. There was something that kind of caught my attention. Um, let's run away. Okay, so I actually think I have an idea. We can block the Letke with Fiona and Meg. And then we can attack down Letke to get experience. That's how we're gonna do it. You should do a 24 hour stream where to make a GBA hack. Would love to see your process when hacking. Not a 24-hour stream, but I could definitely do, like, a mega hacking stream. I, uh, one thing, this is actually an idea that I've had for a little while, is to make a hack together with chat, and just kind of make it as we go. Um, it is actually something that I've, that I've thought a little bit about. I think it could be fun. Um, uh, yeah, that's that's definitely something. I mean, 24-hour streams don't work because they become unwatchable, but 12-hour I could do. All right, so we got the we got the download gear going here. So what we gotta do now is we gotta we gotta prevent these guys from. So if I remember correctly, I'm just gonna test with Moran, but I'm I'm pretty sure. I am, like, 99% sure that these archers don't move. It will be the worst Fire Emblem ever. Yeah, probably. Alright, here we go, guys. We got the experience, Trance. You literally cannot make this shit up, guys. I have no choice but to deal with this now. Oh my god. You fucking- you cannot make this shit up. You just cannot. You, you, you just cannot make this shit up. Oh my god. What is wrong with this unit? She's gonna- she's gonna die. Watch her- watch her die. Watch her- watch her fucking die right now. Watch her die. Watch her die. Okay. The archer may have less of a chance to kill her, maybe? I'm not sure. Oh, hi. Yeah, I remember- I remember- oh god, my- the green units. Um, the green units are right on the Corsairs. I don't think the armors can reach them, though. But I do need Soth here, I think. Um... So, Fiona does have good biorhythm now, which means that... But it's it's still way too scary, I think. So I think we, we, we simply have to do it this way. Also, no chance in hell. No chance in hell that I'm letting Micaiah face that. That's just not gonna happen. Train Fiona Apletka, or we riot. Dude, she can die! <laughs> Have you seen how bad this woman is? She can die! If only it was possible to check women's biorhythm IRL. Yeah, it is. You just, you just ask him if, if everything's fine, and if they say fine, that means their biorhythm is bad. 
Okay, Nolan almost died. Lovely. Alright, Mega's getting hit, and the Wind Edge broke. So that's my final Wind Edge, I think? Oh shit, okay, there goes my bonus experience. Lovely. Run, 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 run! Okay, so we gotta get Sylph here. With the Bronze Knife. Ah, uh, hello! And then we put you here, and Marime can maybe be... Let's see, I think Tormod won one round. So yeah, he does. That's good. <laughs> Just tell a woman to calm down in her biorhythm. Yeah, that is, that's how you do it. You just tell her, I think you're being a bit crazy right now. You just gotta chill. And that's how you do it. I can't for this fucking shit right here. Oh my god. These units are so bad. My only, my only hope is that a support will somehow make them a little bit better. But even then, it's, it's, it's not looking great. Man, enemies in this game scale so in insanely much. It's actually incredible. Like, I have the most blessed Nolan and Edward, and they're still kind of struggling, both of them. No, 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 Nolan, no, 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 please. No! Don't, no, 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 no. Oh! I hate this game. This game can suck a dick. Super blessed A support doesn't matter. Doesn't fucking matter. Doesn't fucking matter. Still die. So much effort put into training this fucking Dome Brigade, and this is what I get. No respect. I know I should have promoted him, I know, I probably should have done it right away. I got greedy. I think his biorhythm was actually- oh. EDWARD! Why are you like this? Ah! Oh. I swear to God, Edward. He will die. He will die if I if I wait. Is Vika fucking game over condition here? <laughs> She's not actually. It's just Tormutter Marim. That's funny. <laughs> the game doesn't even care if she dies on this map. That's. Wow, that's kind of dark. The Dead Brigade. Alright, so that means that we need a new support, and I'm thinking Volug Edward then. Um, yeah, I'm thinking Volug Edward is probably the, the support that we want to do. I mean, what else are we supposed to do, right? Edward is the only Dawn Brigade unit left? Yeah, aside from Nikaya, yeah, he is. Okay, so I, I am- I think you can steal something from one of these guys, if I remember correctly. Uh, I think maybe from the boss? Yeah, you can steal a Vulnerary from him, which, let's be fair, I kinda need, so. Wow, Wika, what a great unit. What a fantastic unit. Doesn't even one round the fucking archer. I expected the dead units to look exactly like this plus Edward. Yeah. I don't blame you there. Hey, hit point strength speed luck on Jill though. Not bad. 
Not bad at all. Alright, I think maybe we can get a kill on Meg here. Maybe. Eh? Yeah, I, I think the archers just don't move, so... We can actually... We can taint on these archers. With, with Fiona. Oh, I... Oh my god, I was supposed to kill this guy with Fiona. Well, too late now. Alright, guys, I hope you're ready for a taint session, because it's about to happen. We're about to have ourselves a good old-fashioned... Oh, fuck, I forgot to move silt. This is kind of funny. Oh, we got a level out of it. It's fine, I guess. Hit points, skill, and luck. Wait, does he, the boss not heal? Oh, I thought the boss... Wait, does the boss heal or not? I actually forgot. What's funny about Fiona is that she can taint... Oh no, he does heal. Okay, that's good. She can tank while carrying Meg, which is kind of funny. Alright, time to run around sacrificing with Micaiah. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, let's do this. <laughs> You'll tr no, 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 they never move. They, I, I, I remember these guys being stationary. They might run away to get healing, if I remember correctly, but no more than that. Alright, so Volug and Edward are the new support partners. Uh, I still don't have a support partner for Jill, but that's fine, I guess. Fiona and Meg. We're doing Fiona and Meg. Alright, Micaiah's gonna be done. I think she's done sacrificing for now. I'm gonna heal her just because I'm paranoid. Oh, she can still sacrifice a little on jail, so it's fine. Alright, so we can get a couple levels out of Fiona with this by doing this. I might turn... Oh, no, no, no. I'm gonna turn off Auto Cursor, I think. Auto Cursor is just kind of annoying at this point. Bad unit squad? Well, that's Dawn Brigade for you. I don't give a shit about bonus experience. I care about trying to turn Fiona into something salvageable. Luna Aria donated five bucks for Super Chat. Been watching bots for some months now, and this is my first live. Just wanted to say hello. Thank you for the content. Let's go, Thea Bros. Ah, nice to have you here. Nice to see some of the lurkers peeping out uh, from the from under the blinds and saying hello. That always that always cheers me up. All the match donated five bucks for Super Chat. I usually don't watch live content, but I like your content. Keep up the good work. Hey, another one. We got another one peeping out from under the blinds. Thank you guys. Can you say that? Peeping out from under the blinds? I think I think that's the thing you say. It's a Norwegian term, but I, I think I think I think it's said in other places as well. Part one battle expert. Yeah, it, it, it hardly matters. It hardly matters. There we go. Alright, Fiona level up. Let's see how she goes. Hit points, strength, magic, skill. Oh, let's go! Let's go! Whoa! Actually good level. And Fiona taints herself because she, she heals. So that's kind of funny. Now, I might as well, since I'm already doing this, I might as well work on their support. And he's rescuing Edward, which is good. Let's go! So the question is, can she fight the boss? I don't think so, but we'll see. There's no heal tiles on this map, aside from the one the boss is standing on, so we can't we can't sacrifice tank with Micaiah, but as long as she survives, like I don't I don't I don't think she will survive around a combat against the boss, honestly. We'll see. I think he probably murders her. Yeah, that's what I thought. We gave her as much as can be reasonably expected. Is there a cap on support points in this game? I think there are, right? You can break the boss's weapon. I could. Yeah, I, I, I absolutely could. 
we could we could break the boss's weapon. Yeah. It will take some time though. Wait, do storm swords deplete durability when they hit shit? No. We could. My god, this will take for fucking ever though. This 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 is gonna take forever. He never hits. I need to do it with someone who can Oh, let's do it with Maraim actually. He he has to, he has less avoid and And he's carrying Tormod. That's actually a good idea. And he has like oh he'll get double by the boss actually, so he's perfect for this. Yeah, he can take it. I, I'm pretty sure he can take it. Wait, can he take it? He has 5 speed, so he's gonna get doubled. The boss does 31 damage. That's 15 times 2, but he has 12 luck. Uh, I think he'll be okay, right? Right? Thirty-one damage, that's like fifteen times two. Let's just watch animations just to make sure. Yeah, he's 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 okay. He dodges a lot. But since Fiona can't damage the boss. Oh, can she not even deal damage to him? She does she does one damage! <laughs> she does one damage with the Soyjaka. She does one damage with the Soyjaka. We can do this. We can tank our way to victory. Oof. I'm gonna have to churn through a lot of vulneraries for this shit, guys. I'm gonna have to churn through a lot of vulneraries for this shit, guys. I hope you guys I hope the Fiona fanboys are happy. I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this shit for you. Oh, I need a... I need a vulnerary. I am using so many vulnerarys. If I still had Laura, she would probably be promoted at this point due to all the tainting I'm doing. What's kind of nice about Paragon is that you get 20 experience from Sacrifice, which actually makes it kind of viable for leveling up. I'll be back in 30 minutes. <laughs> 13 uses left of the Storm Storm Story. Let's go. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of Vulneraries in this playthrough, guys. Fire Emblem tanked until dawn. Oof. Oh my god, this boss is hitting kind of hard. Seahawk died to a 2% crit. Yep, he did. He did. It was kind of sad. It was very sad. I really wish it hadn't happened. But losing Nolan was... I, I think in order for me to beat this run, I have to tank up Fiona. I need tanks. Like... Part 3 is gonna wreck me without proper tanks, and Fiona and Meg are pretty much my only alternatives right now. I know, that's not a sentence you ever want to say during an Iron Man, but it's true. Friendship ended with Seahark. This is nice experience for Micaiah too. She'll probably be, be capped out by the Burger King chapter, which I really do like. She's probably not getting doubled, I think. So I can put Resolve on her during the Burger King chapter, and she'll probably proc at mid-turn. Mid if she gets hit, which is nice. Power level Volu. And how would I do that? I guess I could level his strike rank. It's it's possible, right? Yeah, I call him the Burger King. <laughs> the BK. Alright, how are we doing on the five uses left on the storm store, ladies and gentlemen? If you're a... Um, I'm not reading that, Wyvern King. I'm not, I'm not reading that! That's too scary, man. Are you going to be using Oki again? I mean, Oki and Jonaf are fantastic in, in Radiant Dawn. Oki and Jonaf are really good in Radiant Dawn. My god, imagine if I still had Laura for this. Imagine if I had Laura for this. She would be getting so much experience, it would be amazing. Oof.
Ramen, member for three months. Happy three months to me, I guess. Hope you can bring Meg to the tower. That is the plan, but this is an Iron Man run, so you never know. All right, here we go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I'm using the Soy Jacko for. This is what I'm using the Soy Jacko for now. We get not a lot from tainting, we get a little bit. But now that we've gone through the trouble, we might as well get like a couple levels on her. She still gets decent ship experience for the boss, which is nice. We could we could taint twice in a row actually by doing Oh no, there we go, launch level up. We could taint twice in a row by doing this. Get strike rank up on Bolu. It's actually not bad. Hell, we could even do a tank train with Jill. We could do a tank train with Jill right here. Oh, wait, what? Oh, she does not count. Oh, no, she should have counted. She's Jill. Dude, we gotta be careful, though. If this crits, she will die. And Fiona could crit, too. Alright, second level up for Fiona, guys. Will she get another really good one? Yeah, she will. Hit point, strength, skill, speed, and defense. This is actually starting to look pretty good. Only problem is now she now she deals two damage times two. You could speed up. This is true. I could do that. Whoa! There we go. I mean, it, do, it does it does speed up the process quite a bit, even if the sound sounds a little bit dumb. Oh, that's a crit. So, how are you guys doing today? <laughs> Anything you want to talk about while we're while we're doing our little painting session here? Just got here. Is he wasting a forge? I'm trying to make this unit viable. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying for this unit to get some experience. This is if you want to use Fiona on hard mode, you have to do this. You have to tank. She's not gonna work otherwise. It's actually remarkable how much you have to tank. Watch. I'm just making soy jacka memes. I can't wait on a mode. Oh, that's another crit match. She's critting a lot, this girl. You know, since we're already tainting with Micaiah, why don't we tain some more? Oh my god, she's critting a lot. Alright, here we go. Hit speed, okay. I wish she got more, but she's gotten two fantastic level ups already, so I think she's gonna be okay. But we, ha we actually have to let the boss heal a little bit right now. I think we've gone through three vulnerabilities. Manx, please stop music and put another one. Sure, we could do that. Alright, let's play some tainting music, shall we? Kind of like the, the background music is kind of nice, actually, in Ring of Dawn. This is good tainting music. Taint to taint to taint to taint 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 to taint to taint taint. Did you get the hidden items? I didn't. That's actually a good point. I can go get the hidden items. I completely forgot. Are there hidden items on this map? Yeah, here we go. Uh, let's see. So we have a... Uh, there is... Oh, right, I completely forgot about this. Yeah, we got a coin and a blue item, whatever that is.
Master Seal, okay. I should have, if I had known that I would do this with the Forge, I shouldn't have Forged Crit on it. Crit is actually useless to me. Halo OSD? Uh, is the Halo OSD safe to play? I think it is. Can you see if you do damage with any other weapon? I doubt it, because this, the, the forge has like plus six damage on it. So it will take it will take a little while. Oh, where is this item? Oh, it's it's front of the door, okay. Fun fact, dude means animal in Swedish. Oh, that's not where it is, okay. The Steel Lance probably will not, I think, but... Nope. Still not. Wait, where is the stupid coin? There you go. Well, I guess that'll be a new forge for Fiona. So it can miss? I thought he found it no matter what. It's kind of funny. What is this OST? It's my game, Andron Saga. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. Alright, let's see what she gets. Strength, speed, resistance. Let's go, Fiona. Okay. We're getting somewhere, I think. Let's tech let's check if we can we can tank with the steel. Yes, we can! The Steel Lance is now taintable, ladies and gentlemen. We can now use the Steel Lance. <laughs> this is the taintiest taint. But the moment I lost Nolan, I was like, okay, well, I don't have any tanks anymore. So I pretty much have to do this. Sad as it is. If I want to use Fiona, like, she, she will do zero damage. To everything, unless I do this. Be funny, funny if you wanna die. I mean, you can expect her to die. I mean, just because I do this with her doesn't mean she becomes a viable unit. Not at all. Why is she missing? Why is she missing all of a sudden? Oh, it's because she's not using the force. Probably because of biorhythm too, I imagine. I finished streaming and I see Mang's tank thing. I'm sorry, desperate. Desperate situations requires desperate measures, okay? I have to do this. If I don't do this, I'm not gonna be able to progress. I need Fiona, I need her to become good. Cause the Dawn, like without Edward, like I still have Edward, but Nolan was the carry of my Dawn Brigade run. And Silk alone will not carry you through Act 4. You need to train some members of the Dawn Brigade. All right, another level for Tiana. Hit points, magic, skill, speed, luck, and resistance. Okay, we're definitely getting somewhere now. Don't worry, man. Most exhilarating Delius gameplay. Hanako, this is pretty much how you play every Fire Emblem game, so you have no right to complain. You guys know what Hanako did during the beta testing of Andron Saga? She she took no wait, well, this was this might have been Bethany actually. No, yeah, this was actually Bethany. So, um, Bethany put a unit next to a siren in in chapter six, and she let the siren attack eight hundred times to level up Estelle. Because I took away the, the see before there was a there was a taint in the beta version of Andalon Saga. You guys remember the the zombie dragon of chapter six? It wasn't a heal tile. So what people would do is they would attack the zombie dragon with a stealth. And because the stealth has dazzle, the zombie dragon cannot attack her back. And then you simply rescue or dance with Angulus. And then you just attack the dragon, run away with the stealth. Dragon heals up, and you get quite a lot of chip experience for this, since the dragon is a boss, and a tier 2 boss. You could easily tank the stealth up to promotion this way, and it wouldn't take that long. So I took away, where we took away the heal tile that the zombie dragon was standing on. So, in protest, Bethany decided to taint 800 times against the siren to get the same result. 
Yeah, you can infinite heal with Ilanda's um, light, uh, Lightbringer skill, this is true. Alright, we're about to- I don't know how many levels I'm gonna do this. Maybe just a few more. I don't want to overtake. I just want to get to a point where Fiona can do something. Careful, Estelle has a lot of simps you don't want to anger. I'm well aware. Estelle simps are the worst. How's her weapon rank? Okay, she's, 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 she's reached A rank at this point. Alright, let's go. Come on, Fiona. Skill, defense, and resistance. Okay. Alright, so we've tainted uh, how many levels with her and she still sucks? Old man on the death counter. We're gonna run out of lances at this point if this continues, I think. Look, okay, how many more levels are we gonna do this shit? One more level. She got a lot of rest. Yeah, Fiona's got very lopsided. She's got very high defense and resistance growth. So she's got like 55 and 50. I mean, we might as well, while we're tainting, we might as well show her growth rates, I guess. Fiona. Oh, this is the song that tells you that you've tainted too much. Tatum, put promote her? It's gonna take a long time. <laughs> I don't think I have enough steel lances for that. I think I'm gonna run out before she hits 20. Can't wait for her to die to a crit. Please do not joke about that. There you go, the steel lance is broken. I don't know how many more I have. I'm gonna have to use the soy jacker now. I'm gonna have to forge her a new one. Yeah, I don't think I can get her to 20-20 unless she gets, like, a lot of strength and can start doing damage with a javelin. I don't think she can do it. She's level 15, yeah. This takes forever. Give fortune to Fiona? No, I want to keep it on Meg. I think Fiona has decent luck anyway, so she, she should be fine. What you failed to mention, sweetheart, is that I managed to taint Lilinette up to level 20 that way, too, so by the end of Chapter 6, I had two level 20 magic. Yup. Yes, you did. Yes, you did, sweetheart. Yes, you did. Hit point, speed, and defense. Alright, so we got 16 speed on Fiona right now. Does that mean she's gonna start doubling? No, not quite yet. I don't know why people like Ash. Uh, because she's batshit insane. And people like batshit insane people, I guess. I don't know. This is exactly what's wrong with the Fire Emblem community. No, there's a lot more wrong with the Fire Emblem community, but that's one of them. Doesn't Jill have a Steel Lance? No. I gotta be careful so I don't kill the boss here. Can you give back Oblivio to Risk, by the way? When Obliv I was thinking about streaming Oblivion on Tuesday, actually. Either Tuesday or Sunday. I need to start Coring Quest at some point. But yeah, the, the Oblivion stream, we got everything set up for it. Uh, I do want... Well, PH, while I got you here. Is there any way, are there any mods you guys would recommend? Uh, if you have any good Oblivion mods, send them to me at mangsmemes.gmail.com. I was thinking I'd do like a super modded Oblivion stream just for fun. And we'll have some kind of premise, like I need to not die or something. Don't sound too happy, Mangs. If someone can find some Fire Emblem mods for Oblivion, I think that would be really funny. Autism Cat mod, I think that would be funny. I, I don't think there is a single Autism Cat mod though. I think... Isn't there, like, is, doesn't he just install, like, 200 mods? Isn't that the whole... All the Coomer mod? I can't be get banned, though. I gotta be careful. Uh-oh. The Soy Jacker broke. I think... Uh, I think I can't taint anymore. No, I, I can't taint anymore. Unless I'm willing to break. That's as far as the tainting goes, guys. I can't taint anymore.
I guess it's time for Meg to taint. <laughs> Meg taint. I love how you guys immediately. Okay, let's see. Can she deal? Well, she can. She actually gets a lot out of this. What the hell? Oh my god, Meg, really? Really? Meg can't even taint properly. Nolan died for this. He did. And I get a fucking luck level up. Alright, while we do the Meg taint, let's uh, show the Meg growth rates. I like the winds in the background on this map. It's kind of nice. I never, you never hear them otherwise. Taint, 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 what is your plan to beat the next chapter? I have absolutely no clue. Which one is the next chapter against? That's the swamp chapter? I mean, you get Nile on that one. So I guess I guess we can try and do something there. Yeah, she has 35% strength. She's garbage. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, can you level something better, Meg? Oh, my oh she's capped breast! Woo! Fiona isn't available in the swamp. Yeah, that's true. She isn't. That's so dumb. Da, da. She's a mage killer. Yeah, she capped her res. Let's go. I mean, it's good for bonus experience, though. It's one less stat to cap, but I don't think... I don't, I'm not sure if she's really capping any other stats. I really don't think she is. Yeah, Fiona's availability is so bad. That makes it even harder to train her. Alright, we got 15 uses left of the forge. Sure, we're, we're burning all our forges on this, so... We'll need to forge more. That was seven levels without strength. Oh my god, am I getting a strength screwed mag? Am I getting a strength screwed mag? That's the worst. Are you having fun? I mean, painting is actually pretty satisfying. I'm a bit- it's a bit sad that I have to resort to this, but it's literally- Oh my god, she's not leveling strength. But she's pretty fast at this point. 15 speed, I don't think she's gonna get doubled anymore, which is nice, but if she doesn't level strength, I can't- I can't continue to taint when my weapon runs out, so that's a bit of a problem. In fact, I don't think there's any point, because I don't- I have eight attacks left, so... There isn't really any point to this anymore. I guess we can taint with Jill next. But Jill kills him pretty quickly, so I don't know if that's smart. Ah, Jill will be fine. Maybe I can train Walug's strike rank or something. Get him up to S rank would be pretty nice. Da, 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 da. Edward. Oh, Edward! Good point, good point. I completely forgot about Edward. Uh, let's see. Yeah, because Edward, I mean, he's already pretty good. He might actually do damage. Yeah, he does do damage, actually. I think he can hurt the boss with the Steel Sword, right? He can. That's good, actually. Why? Because Edward is actually a little bit underleveled, which is kind of dumb. I wish I could fast forward the live stream. <laughs> Look, just relax, come back in 10 minutes, I'll be done tainting, okay? At this point, I don't think I'm gonna taint that much more. If I get a crit, then so be it. Nice, I cancelled him without any weapons. Let's go. Oh, nice! Iron Sword deals one damage. Let's go. Stop tainting in public. That's the best place to taint. To 
be fair, my Edward is pretty good, but with his support partner gone, he is very reliant on Volude now. They have, don't they have double Earth? No, 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 he, Edward is light, but Earth is still really good as a support, so I think we'll, we'll, we're still fine. <laughs> After all this tainting and sacrificing, do you think Mikaya needs a break? Ah, I, thanks for reminding me to sacrifice. She's level 16 right now, which is pretty good. She's not leveling up fantastically, though. Uh, she has 11 speed, which is actually kind of low. She I, she risks getting doubled without resolve, so this is really bad. <laughs> Every time Manx taints, Rev gains a new fan. Alright, level 15, Edward. Oh my fucking god. I did all that for res. I did all that for freaking res. Oh my god. Alright, I think I'm reaching my... Okay, one more level for Edward, that's all I'm doing. And then we're then we're calling it a day. One more level for Edward, then we're done. Then we're done, ladies and gentlemen. No, I'm not tainting anymore. This is a very taint. This is the most I've ever tainted during a stream, I think. But it's either this or reset the Iron Man, and I really don't want to reset the Iron Man. You just gotta kinda be proud of the tainting, you know? You gotta embrace the taint. Don't be shamed by it, you gotta embrace it. I can stop tainting anytime I want. I am not addicted to it, I promise, guys. How are we gonna do without- well, I- without Nolan and Ark? Well, that's why I'm tainting, because I don't have them. If you taint enough, then you can make anyone decent. Alright, not terrible. I need- still need more speed on Edward, though, if he is to con double consistently. Alright, I think probably it's time to kill the boss now. Let's just attack him with Jill. And Volub. Not terrible for leveling uh, Baluk's strike rank, honestly. He does two, two times two. Ba bum. I'll just kill him with Baluk. Do, do, do. Defense on HP for Edward is actually pretty decent, I will admit, yeah. It is not terrible. Alright, we're done. We're done, ladies and gentlemen. He's dead. Taint session is over. One two hundred and twenty one turns. <laughs> two hundred and twenty one turns. Two hundred and twenty-one turns. Do you think we're gonna get any bonus experience? We actually did. Well, that was kind of embarrassing. Lagu's warriors. No. All right. I need some memes, guys. I need some memes. Please give me some memes. Oh, restore, thanks. A Shiro icon, right? You do get some things for keeping these guys alive. Oh, you get you get uh, Torodio back now. That's nice. Uh, all right. Well, we have this one. That's for sure. It's not a best support, but it's okay. 
Uh, and then we have, uh, let's see, Fiona and Meg. Let's go. Pretty shitty support. Eight, avoid, nine hit. Heaven affinity just is kind of bad, but I mean, it's it's actually, ironically, does help both of them because they have hit, hit issues. They have issues with everything, really, but... Um, I think it, I think at A it gives like a pretty decent amount of uh, avoid and hit. So all right. Uh, oh, and I'm doing Edward Walug. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. Tormod Marime, Why not? Like, who else are they gonna support with, right? Like, who else are they going to support with? Alright, let's, uh, let's go check out some memes. This better be some good memes, guys. I require I require very good memes after that tainting session. Please don't die. I don't want any more Tellius. So I'm gonna try. <laughs> okay, that's that's really good. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Dum bum 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 bum. Oh my god. Oh no. Helen Wood is making soy jaka memes. Oh no. Cringe. Fates, if your waifu is cute, has dragon feet, and originates from the best fire emblem, that's not your waifu, that's my waifu. Hey, that's cute. That's cute. Bartra getting some Carlissi. <laughs> Is this supposed to be me and Ponsograph? Grilling at the cabin? Because you put a Swedish flag on it, you idiot. <laughs> okay, almost right. Aside from that, it's a pretty good, uh, it's a pretty good flag. It's, sorry, it's a pretty good image, I mean. But minus points for the wrong flag. I wish this was Nolan. Why'd you put it sideways? I don't get it. Oh my god. Oh no, oh no, not the soy jaka! <laughs> not the soy jaka! No, 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 no! <laughs> not the soy jaka! No! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, is that a fucking Choco Mags? Oh my goodness. That is a fucking Choco Mags. Brown woman and George. I, I don't know. Something about brown woman and George just sounds so so weird. Nolan, get ready. Good levels. <laughs> Nolan gets killed. Oh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm pretty tired. I think uh, it's time to end the stream, but we'll do a unit review and then we'll do Q&A. So let's go through the units that are still alive, shall we? 
All right. Uh, Mikaya, uh, I'm getting a slightly speed screwed Mikaya, I think, which is really bad. Um, with Resolve, she should, it should keep her from getting doubled in the Black Knight chapter, but I gotta get her up to level 20 ASAP to try and give her as many skills as I can. Or to give him as many stats as I can. She has gained defense a few times, which is nice. I don't think she's quite in one-shot territory, except for maybe in melee. I don't think a hand axe or a javelin will kill her at this point, but I still gotta be very careful with her. Uh, Soth is a god. Uh, yeah, those transfers, he's still very, very much carrying for me. Uh, Volug, I don't think I've given him a single level up, but I've trained his strike, strike rank a bit, so that's nice. Edward is going to be my Dawn Brigade carry. I need to get him up to Swordmaster ASAP. Meg, um, she's not leveling strength, so she'll need a good forge. I mean, she still has eight uses left of the Mengs, so. But uh, yeah, this is a unit that needs all the help she can get. Um, Jill, I think she's fa I think she's a little bit above average. 15 strength, 17 speed. I, I don't exactly know how good Jill is supposed to be as a level 16 Draco Knight, but I think she's okay. Uh, Fiona, this is after, what, 10 levels of tainting? 11 strength, 6... She has good speed. She has good speed. That's, like, the one thing. Her defense and resistance are getting decently good. Um, the Meg support, I need to get their, like, I need to get the Meg support to BNA very quickly. Uh, that's pretty much the only thing that's gonna keep them alive. Even then, it's... Yeah, even then, seven levels she's gained, and this is, these are her stats after seven levels of tainting. Do you guys understand now how hard it is to use Fiona on hard mode? It is so... Like, she's so understated, it's crazy. Uh, Tormod, don't really gonna use him. Same with Mariam and Vika. Ileana, she's just a mule for real mercenaries. Toronio. And Mikaya again, so, yeah. Yeah, Fiona is tough. She's tough to use. All right, let's do a Q&A. Curse, donor two bucks. Manx, it was troll art. Oh, okay. <laughs> Luna Aria, donor to five bucks. Been watching Wots for some time. No, this is my first live. I just wanted to say, oh, I read that one already. Sorry, I thought it was new. All right. Um... Gagey asks, Mengs, are you still down to do the hacking with chat stream someday? I think that'd be really fun, actually. I'd love to do that. Yeah, I'd love to do that. I can show you guys. I think that'd be a good tutorial, for sure. Uh, Hanako asks, have you played Half-Life? No, I watched Bethany play it. Or I watched Ponstagram's Let's Play of it, and I know Bethany loves it. Um, she showed me gorgeous Freeman on YouTube. Apparently, that was like a big part of her childhood. So, uh, But no, I was never really big into Half-Life. Noel asked, Coring Quest stream when? Probably this Sunday. I haven't quite decided yet if I'm going to do Oblivion or Coring Quest first. We'll see. Uh, Black Spin says, which Talius game do you like more? I'm more partial to Path of Radiance, to be honest, but Radiant Dawn is a cool game, too. Uh, Midnight asks, when can we send in Oblivion mods? Just send them to my mail. If you have a good mod, just send it to me. I'd love to see it. I don't, I don't know much about Oblivion. I, I've hardly played it, so I'm pretty new to it. Uh, McAllister asks, have you heard about the Engage manga? I have seen screenshots of it. Is it any good? Has it been translated? I mean, I've, Fire Emblem manga is usually not the best, in my opinion, but it's, I've read the FE6 manga, that's, and parts of the FE4 manga. It's okay. Um, Pafangs Fubabas. Oh, that's not a question. Doritos asks, who's your favorite unit in Radiant Dawn? Uh, from like a design point? I'm sorry, I do like Heather. Like her design is really, she's very, she has a very unique design. She kind of looks like a supermodel. I really like it. Um, gameplay wise, probably. Ike is fun to use in Radiant Dawn. He kills a lot of things. Um, Har is really fun. Oliver? Sure, I love Oliver. Nameless XS AI Emblem Finale one. Uh, probably on Monday. I haven't... I need to... The map is generated. I just need to add it. It won't take long. Nephony is... I like Nephony, both from a design point of view and a character. She's fun. 
Oof asks, are you still getting emails from Latina dating websites? I think I've blocked most of them, but I still get signed up for some newsletters every now and then. Like, uh, like vegan health and stuff like that. It's really funny. I think someone has just, like, put my name on a list that, like, s signs you up for a bunch of spam email. Occasional. I, I just block it, so it's not really a big deal. Like, it, it takes me two seconds to, like, block ten mails. It's, it's not like I'm getting flooded or anything, but uh, occasionally, like, I will notice, like, vegan health or, like, feminism, lesbian dance theory classes that I've been signed up for, like, it's pretty funny. Uh, Win32 asks, worst Radiant Dawn unit? Fiona, probably. <laughs> I mean, who is worse? Who is worse than her? Bom, 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 bom. Alice asks, what's a unit in Fire Emblem that you cannot bring yourself to use, even if they are good? A unit that I cannot bring myself to use, even if they are good. Um, good question. Uh, oh yeah, I actually have a unit like that, Sander. I never use Sander in Conquest. I just, I don't know, I just, uh, I don't like him. I know he's really good. I think it's because I don't reclass a lot when I play Fates, and I think Sander, to really be, to really be viable, Sander needs to reclass. But I find that, um, but I find that as a pal, I just find him not very impressive. I, I find that, I just don't, I don't know. He's good on paper. He's a tanky paladin with a one two range sword. I know he's supposed to be really good. I just, I never use him when I play Conquest. Say asks, do you want an FE4 remake or a new game? I want the FE4 remake, but I hope we get a new game. I personally want the FE4 remake because I know I would love it. But I know that the game wouldn't do as well as a brand new game. So, it would be better for me personally if FA4 got remade. I would have more fun. But for my channel and for Fire Emblem as a whole... Um, I don't mean to spell gloom and doom, guys. I, I'm fine. My channel's doing fine and all that. But Fire Emblem algorithm is shit right now. Okay? Um, it is down to almost 7% uh, of peak popularity. That means that it, it so Fire Emblem hit its peak popularity in 2017 with the launch of Heroes. It was at 100%. It's at 7% right now, which means that out of when the series was at its most popular, we have 7% of those people actively searching and watching Fire Emblem content on YouTube right now. Uh, during the dark pre-awakening era, when the franchise was close to dying, we were at 11%. So the engagement for Fire Emblem in the algorithm right now is lower than the Dark Ages that almost killed the series. That's pretty fucking grim. Now again, I'm not worried. Um, I'll be fine. This channel's big. I got fans. Um, I will. Uh, I still enjoy Fire Emblem. I'm not worried. But it does suck for newer content creators who wants to come onto the scene. Like I've gotten a lot of messages from smaller channels, from people saying like, "Mangs, what am I? S I do my videos don't get any views. How do I?" Like, I put a lot of effort into them, and no one watches my videos. And I was like, yeah, it's just because there's very few people searching for Fire Emblem content right now. It's just a bad it's just a bad time to be a new content creator coming onto the scene. It's really hard to do it. Um, and until Fire Emblem gets a good game out and fires up the algorithm a little bit more, then it's going to keep being that, sadly, for newer channels. It's not going to be possible for you to come onto the scene and be a new content creator unless you do something very, very special. Um... It goes to show that the series dying was fake and gay. Oh, what? Ooh, what, 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 what are you saying? Are you saying I'm wrong? Are you saying I'm wrong in the mood? Like, I'm just, I'm just reporting the statistics. Like, I'm not saying that the series is going to die. I'm not saying the series is dying. I'm saying this, the people's interest in Fire Emblem right now is at a historic low. Yeah, XL Emblem is the only really new one that came onto the scene, and he's very unique. Imagine if he came onto the scene during the Fates era. He'd be bigger than me. He'd be like 200k subs right now if he, if he came onto the scene during the Fates era. He would eclipse everyone. Oh, statistics. Alright, you're doing the nerd emoji. I get it. Okay, I'm being nerdy. Um... Raman asks, have you thought about doing a CMU Iron Man stream for XCOM? I want to do an XCOM stream, but it's just... Uh, I'm I'm not as good at XCOM as I would like to be. <laughs> My problem with XCOM is hard mode is too easy, legend is too hard. Like, I am not good enough to Iron Man legend, but I wish that I was. 
So I play hard mode, I get complacent, and then my units die. Every time. And XCOM punishes you so hard for being complacent. And that's kind of the whole point of the game, but it's really bad for me. Because I get complacent so easily and then I just fucking die. Because in XCOM, that's snowball. Like, you lose one soldier, that's gonna snowball into losing another soldier. And then you lose your whole damn squad and then it's just GG. You, do, you don't... You don't recover in XCOM from a bad loss. Like, if you get your entire party wiped out, that is GG. It's almost impossible to come back from it. Ephraim wants to know if I'm looking for any particular kind of Oblivion mods. Anything that you think would be fun during the stream, just send it to me. Oh, choose my units. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can do that in XCOM, I guess. Um, with modding. I haven't really thought about it. Mm. Paper Assassin asks, what's Fire Emblem character has suffered the most in the series, in your opinion? Suffered? As in, like, gone through the most hardship story-wise? What character has suffered the most? Um... Hmm. Leaf? Yeah, I think I agree with that. Leaf has a pretty, pretty rough... Finn. Actually, Finn. Finn has gone through the most suffering out of most of the characters, I'd say. Yeah, Finn has gone above and beyond the Call of Duty. Tilt you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tilt you. Yeah, she has a pretty grim fate. She gets pretty much abused to death by her mother. Yeah, Tilt you is probably up there, I'd say. Hanako asks, what do you think will save the franchise? More customization or less customization options? Um... What we need is we need a solid Fire Emblem game with a good story that people can actually speculate a little bit and make videos about. And we need a game, honestly, yeah, I actually spoke, uh, me and Oof actually talked a little bit about this earlier. Um, he, he brought up a point to me where he said, if you look back at the games that sold well, all of them sold multiple routes with multiple copies, right? Three Houses had four routes. Um, Fates sold three games. And I think... Maybe that's the play. Maybe as much as I don't like route splits, I thought it was actually kind of refreshing that Engage didn't have a route split. Because overall, I think route splits make the game worse overall. Like I think the fact three houses should have had two routes, not four. I think if they had just done two or three routes, I mean it was called three houses, so they shouldn't have done the fourth route. They should have scrapped the fourth route, whatever, whether that be church or crimson flower. And they should have focused all their resources on just three routes. I think the game would have been better. The game suffered as a result of them doing four routes, in my, in my opinion. So if you try, if but what we could do is we could do the Pokemon thing where we sell two or three different versions of the game, with three different routes. I do think that that was a very smart move on Fates, uh, Fates's part. Having three different routes was, even though I hate the third, I think that was a good idea. Uh, so I think what we need is we need a game. We need a Fire Emblem game that's a classic with good design and beautiful characters. You know, uh, muscles on the guys, big tits on the ladies. Something that we can simp over. Uh, like really pretty characters. Um, and add in a bunch of fan service that people like. References and whatnot. Add in map designers. Add in different routes just just do everything that works have children characters i don't give a shit how you put them into the story and just like do do a we need a popular awakening slash fates-esque fire emblem game that's that appeals to a broad audience and and furthermore launch it with the new console whatever that might be if it's a switch 2 or if it's some kind of smaller handheld console launch the new fire emblem game with the brand new console at the exact same time it's going to sell like cookies that's how you need to do it. but it needs to be a good game don't outsource it to china for fuck's sake china don't it's cheaper i know i know but it, it's going to create a soulless game have intelligent systems develop it. A good company develop it. Put a lot of effort into the design. Make the characters pretty. Just give us some waifus and husbandos. And that's how we get a good Fire Emblem game. Put some effort. Put some goddamn effort into the world building, okay? Make a map. Make a story. Hire a couple extra writers and have them flesh out your world. You know, don't skimp out on the world building. Please. Because people love world building. People want to feel like they're part of an interesting dynamic world. 
Yeah, get the makers of soy emblem. Those guys knew how to write a story, okay? Let's make a vaccine-centric fire emblem game. That sounds amazing. All right. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let me see if I missed any donos. Um, nope, I didn't. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you guys on Sunday with either Oblivion or Corin Quests. I haven't quite decided yet. You take care now. Have a good night. We continue on Friday with the Taint Brigade. Bye-bye.